All right, all right, all right. Oh, hold on one second. Unless you want Drew How to do the intro, let me finish eating real quick. All right, 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 all right. See, today is October 19th of 2012. I am bringing the NBA back to a decade prior to almost like, not today, but this year because it's almost 2022. And I was like, you know what? Um, You know, shout out to this dude, LK Hat. Look, this roster says 2012 13, 100% accurate. I swear to LK, if don't, okay, don't delete his like account if it's not, but it better be. I trusted you. And well, so far, so good. This man has Lavoy Allen out here. So, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than that. Drew Howard is before he got traded for the flat top of Nerland's Noel. And he was an all-star for like one year in Philadelphia. He's also got these filler players on here that kind of look like Ron Baker and Will Ferrell had children and named them filler player. You got the Bucks with Monte Ellis, Brandon. Je wow, that is not, that is not Brandon Jennings. Larry Sanders, who quit the NBA to paint sup uh, supposedly, or I don't know. Bias Harris, young self, probably in like his rookie season or something, maybe so. Uh, yeah, his rookie probably being good is good. That'll get you Drew good. And then you got uh, what's his name? Disciple. You got Larry Sanders, Disciple, John Henson. Now, Derek Rose, this beautiful MVP man himself. Now, he was actually out this entire season. Obviously, the injuries are off. But you already know when Derek Rose was first injured, like he didn't play for like three years afterwards or make get a full season in for mad years. But 2K always gave him a 90 plus overall. He's like, well, you know, he kind of won the MVP the last time we saw him play a full season. Who all dang cool self, Joe Keem, cool. Uh, I don't know. Rip Hamilton. Hamilton, a 76 overall young Jimmy Butler, Nazi Muhammad in his prime, and Daquan Cook. Come on now, it doesn't get better than this. Kyrie Irving in his second NBA season, an 81 overall. Oh, um, 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 wait, no, this is supposed to be Omri Caspi. Uh, what happened? Wait, whoa, hold on. 100%. So named him um, um, Omari, like he was uh, Kanye Omari West. Uh, Andrew Bynum, wow, yeah, this was after the bowling accident. He was, he, it was already on the downhill. Luke Walton was still playing. That's new to me. I mean, it is a whole decade ago. I know he's a coach now. Actually, he got fired. Old body, Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. But this is before they got traded along with Jason Terry to the Nets. Uh, they're still here. The Nets still possess their draft picks. And maybe this time around, they'll draft Jalen Brown and Colin Sexton and whatever. Uh, Damian Lillard. I don't know. They traded a lot of players. They traded the Lillard pick to the Blazers, obviously. But, you know, Darko Milicic is the wor Why is he 19? If you don't make this man 32. We're doing great until that, though. Uh, Chris Paul, young self with his Lob City teammates. DeAndre Jordan, 7-8 overall. Blake Griffin, when he used to dunk on everybody and wasn't a good shooter and now he's a good shooter doesn't dunk on anybody well it's debatable he got pulled out of the rotation for the nets for a while but then he hit a game winning three the other day so that you you know it's up and down just like everything you know the roster when you got Rony turry off ronnie Rony, i don't know it's something zebo zach randolph his jersey just got retired by this team so yeah that's something uh mark gasol mike conley you're you know the grit and grind grizzlies and they still had rudy out here was before they traded rudy to the raptors i believe it was yeah it was raptors and then sacramento and then wherever the hell else he tore his achilles san antonio Yada yada about it. Jay Smooth on Atlanta with Al Horford, Lou Will, Kyle. Co wow, that they. Oh, yeah, I forgot they took Kyle Corbett out of this game, too. I played with De Devin Harris on my team, so I already know he's in the game. He probably just not on the roster. Anthony Morrow used to be that guy. This man's shot was automatic back on them early 2K. The best part about this roster, though, is that Zaza looks almost identical to the filler player. The Miami Heat. Ah, yes. Now, this guy, forget everybody else on this team. Sorry, Mario Chalmers, who actually just got a contract to play in the NBA again or the G League or something, but Ray Allen is the year he hit that corner shot i wonder if you've ever seen it probably not the bobcats it was either this year or the i think it was the year prior Pemba's rookie season when they uh just didn't win a game they won seven games so yeah those also got gerald henderson and ben gordon cool self michael kidd gilchrist with his two broken arms tyrus thomas and bismack biombo short long wingspan so utah jazz this is before gordon hayward became an all-star and then snapped his leg or whatever and then didn't become an all-star again but he, he dropped like 40 points the other day so i'd say his comeback's to go on pretty strong and he got another max contract actually applause to him for doing all that because yeah he snapped the hell out of that ankle al jefferson and paul Millsap out here dominating the league shout out to damari carroll for existing and uh the man formerly known as ennis Cantor. oh man what a what a sight to see isaiah thomas in his second year the man who was picked 60th overall in the 2011 nba draft he's now back in action with the los angeles lakers on a 10-day contract where he'll probably average 20 points per game and then they're not going to give him another contract just because he's short tyreek evans might hell he might get a contract from an nba team soon because they keep 
every, everybody's dropping like flies to the, to the health and safety protocols. So someone that might need bro to play backup point forward or something. Marcus Thorin. I feel like I've mentioned this guy at least 15 times in this channel because I just vividly remember him and IT dropping like 40 each in multiple games on Sacramento. And then Jimmer Fredette, the man who was actually picked top 10 in that IT draft, but uh, he didn't really turn out. He, he, he's a, he's probably still in China or something. I don't know. My beautiful New York Knicks now. Oh yeah, JR Smith has got to be an auto created. Wow, he actually did a good job. He put the tats and everything. They are not in 2K anymore for whatever reason in the world, but neither is Tyson Chandler. But I mean, hey, he did a, a shout to dude. He, he put them all back in. Raymond Felton too. He kind of just looked like Kemba Walker with a beard. Kenyon Martin, see, uh, he was 35 years old and whatever, one of the last seasons of a career. And now his son's in the NBA on the Rockets. Pablo Prigioni was now an assistant coach for the Timberwolves. Ronnie Brewer, who's Ronnie Brewer. And Steve Novak, who's the greatest shooter of all time. And Rasheed Wallace, ball don't lie. You probably seen, I, I didn't see the last dance doc, but I know they released one. Kobe, Dwight, Pau Gasol. Why are they both centers? I don't know, but one of them could play power forward. Uh, Steve Nash, Metal World Peace, Antoine Jameson. This is the team that was supposed to be fantastic and they did absolutely nothing. I mean, they were decent, but then I believe it was the, this was the season that Kobe tore his Achilles. So hopefully that just doesn't happen. Well, actually it can't, it literally can't. Injuries are off. It took him until the next season to play in six games and in the season. But uh, yeah, 78 games played. He got injured in like the last one with the against the Warriors. JJ Redick was the best player on the Magic. I don't even want to say anything else, honestly. Dirk old body self was only like two years removed from winning a championship, but he's still old and Dirk, but Dirk is old and good. Vince Carter still like 10 years left of his career, yet here he is, 36 years old. And Eddie Curry. Actually, I got to mention Jay Crowder. I mean, he's the last player on the roster and he's still in the NBA today. Darren Williams. Wow, I didn't even know he was on the roster. They got his face scan and everything. I, I thought they might have like, he might have been one of the dudes that was a nine man out, but uh, he punched the hell out of Frank Gore. He was just in a fight and beat the living hell out of, or I don't know. It went to like, I don't know how many rounds it went to, but he, he won. Joey Johnson, one of the most elite ISO players in the league. I got a Joe Johnson autograph and a little basketball is somewhere around here. Shout out to Joe Johnson. CJ Watson, the rebounding god, Reggie Evans. For the Nuggets, Ty Ty Lawson, Andre Guadalla for his one season over here. Ty Lawson for like his couple years of stardom was like the Mike Conley before Mike Conley when they're like, oh snap, he should be an all-star. He's the most underrated point guard. And granted, Mike Conley was underrated back then too, but he's just still, it took him until uh, like an honorary all-star selection 10 years later. Andre Miller somehow dropped 50 points in a game once and he was like top five in all-time assists. He's cool. Kenneth Fareed, they just gave this man Torian Prince's face scan. I'm not even, whatever, do you? Remember when he dropped like 40 points in the Rising Stars game? And Evan Fournier, who the Knicks, I, I, I look, he, he's all right. Is that Gerald Green I see? Forget everybody else. Okay, fine. Paul George is actually, him and Granger are actually lower rated than David West, which might not be inaccurate because David West is pretty solid. Average 17 points per game this season. You know, David West out here balling on a budget. Tyler Hansborough, big body sell. Next up, you got Eric Gordon, who's still out here carrying the trash Rockets. And uh, well, actually they went on like a six game win streak. And Anthony Davis, young self, which in his rookie season for sure, but he didn't win rookie of the year because this dude on Portland, the, you know, he's still on Portland. So you should know he is. Somehow Jonte Porter is here and Austin Rivers rookie self when he had the greatest high school mixtape ever. Greg Monroe being Greg Monroe. I don't know. The Pistons were bad and hell, they're still bad. Cade Cunningham, you know, he'll save him. But guess what? They do have Chris Middleton. So Giannis may be screwed. Actually, Giannis isn't even in the league yet. So we'll see what happens. DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry, young selves. Well, actually, Lowry was still only, still 26, almost in his prime. Andrea Bargnani before he got traded to the Knicks for Steve Novak and Landry Fields or something like Man, it was rough times out here in the NBA. Oh, wait, there's Landry Fields, who's actually just Doug McDermott. This is, yeah, let's just move on. Oh, this was a fight. This squad was great. This this was a really, I remember when Chandler Parsons hit like 10 threes and a half. Jeremy Lin was still like kind of good, but not in Lin Sanity good, but good. And then I remember when I would play with this team in 2K in these years, like they just had so many fire pieces. I actually completely forgot Marcus Morris on here, but they had Carlos Delfino who could shoot his threes. I feel like they had a few more that maybe aren't even here, but whatever. Maybe it was a different year. I don't know. Yada, yada. Heron Jones was pretty good, but he kind of just disappeared. San Antonio, Tim Duncan, old self, Tony Parker, old self, Mono Ginobili, old self, Ka Kawhi Leonard, young self, and Danny Green. Oh man, the greatest team of all, the Goran Dragic, Marcin Gortat, and Michael Beasley. The Thunder, you already know the deal here. With Durant, Westbrook, and where the hell is Hart? Was Hart? Where? Wait, oh, oh yeah, right. Harden's already on the Rockets. What am I talking about? Already got Kevin Martin around here. KP, Big Kendrick Perk, and Tabo. Kevin Love, big body, rebounding self on the Timberwolves prior to the Cavaliers trade, actually like three years prior. Nikola Pekovic with his 99 strength. I don't, I don't even know what it is, but I could tell you it's probably a 99. 90, they jipping him. It should be way higher. How did dude spell Brandon Roy wrong? How do you spell Brandon wrong? This ain't Brandon Wright. This is Brandon, whatever. Okay, I'm not even gonna fix it. Brandon Roy, old self. I mean, not old, but he was injured. 
injured and he fell off. And then LaMarcus Aldridge and Damian Lillard, the rookie of the year of this season. Nicholas Batumzu, who's been playing the exact same for the past 10 years, but nobody's complaining because he's good. Myers Leonard. I know we're not supposed to talk about Myers Leonard, but this don't even look like Myers Leonard. They look like Aiden. I've been Steph Curry with it. This is probably like the first year Steph Curry made the All-Star game. And well, he's Steph. What else do I got to say? David Lee in his early Warriors years, he was still making All-Star games. Andrew Bogut just got traded here from Monte Ellis not too soon before. Not whatever. I don't know. Jared Jack, Clay Thompson, young self, Draymond Green, young self, and Richard Jefferson. And last but not least, uh, at least maybe, I don't know, John Wall, H Hilario Nene. It's really Nene Hilario, or I don't know. They reversed Nene. Who cares? When Nene was actually in 2K, he didn't, he didn't even have a name. It was just Nene. They got Trevor Reese out here looking old as hell. Sean Livingston with his fro and everything. Dude named Roderick Thomas. Yeah, that is that is it. That is all the players. Here you can see the best players in the league. It was LeBron, CP3, KD, Rose, Wade, and Kobe, and then Rondo, Melo, Timmy, Westbrook. And that's all the 90s, followed by Harden and Blake. The draft class also downloaded. You could see yada yada. There you, there you go. Big dog Giannis, Rudy, Oladipo, and the greatest player, the greatest point guard, the modern magic, Michael Carter Williams. So yeah, 2012, 13, 10 years in the past, almost 10, well, whatever, in 10 days or something like that. Here the hell goes nothing. I hope everybody out there is staying safe from the cream corn variant that's taking over the world. Stay in the crib, put on the mask, all that, yada, yada. Team LeBron and Team Kobe with a Josh Smith all-star starter appearance. James Harden, one-time all-star. Joe Keem's still an all-star. Even with D. Rose is still playing and Derek's a starter. Zach Randolph, you see it. So far, Braun, number one in the MVP, followed by Timmy, K. Love, Wade, and Durant. Rookie of the year, there is no way in hell this is accurate, but I might just let it slide and let John Salmons win it. There he goes, big dog James. The MVP, I'm pretty sure he was in real life too, so true, true to the, I don't know, true to the world. John Salmons, my favorite rookie of the year ever, personally. Andy Varejao, LeBron, DPOI too, he's always wanted one of those, and Drew Holiday, most improved. Jason Kidd won coach of the year. I wonder if this is updated or if he's the Mavericks coach. I, I don't know. We'll check. D Wade, Harden, LeBron, Love, and Duncan. First team, second team, Westbrook, Rose, Durant, Smith, and Noah. And third team, K Walker, Brian, A Anthony, Garnett, and Howard. Andre Karolinko, all defensive second team. Okay, yeah. So the coaches aren't updated. I, I don't think at least. So yeah, the Mavericks coach is probably still Jason Kidd. Cool. And they did fantastic. I didn't even realize they got OJ Mayo back too. And Darren Cos. I remember Darren Cos hit a game winner off one foot or something like that. Called it off the M. He was nice. He might end up signing up with another. He, he might sign with a team in like the next week with all these protocol things. San Antonio is nice. They're supposed to go to the finals this season. So I'd hope they were nice. But you know, you, you see the teams that were good. The Lakers thankfully won 50 games. Minnesota actually did fantastic. Kevin Love was playing different. But who, who sold? Who sold? Okay, Phoenix is just bad. Sacramento is just bad. Sorry, Boogie. Pelicans are starting a man at point guard named Dakota Mathias who's a 68 overall so obviously they're bad Damian Lillard's team I mean they they you know they just drafted him so obviously they wow the Clipper okay there it is the Clippers sold they should have made the playoffs they sold they don't even make the play-in game and aside from the Pacers missing it who were pretty good in these years the Pacers are actually the worst team in the east I mean their roster does not look intimidating at all I mean it's it's solid all around I mean they got a full starting lineup of 80s but aside from that and Lance Stevenson who I guess didn't really like have his come up yet so I don't know he might he may or may not in this simulation but uh um, yeah, the, everything in the East looks normal for the most part. Although Philadelphia actually made the playoffs and uh, that would have completely hindered the process. Although the process didn't even start at this point and Kyrie led a team to the playoffs already. I mean, LeBron might stay put. Now, obviously, D-Rose isn't injured, so the Bulls are better than what we'd expect them to be. League leaders in points, Harden, Durant, Melo, Curry, and Kobe. Rebounds, Love, Noah, Nene, Dwight, and Duncan, and assists, Westbrook, Nash, D-Will, Rondo, and Lillard. And three-point percentage, no, not Curry, not Melo, Jameer. Nelson, of course. The Jazz, Raptors, Rockets, and Magic get eliminated in the play-in game. Here the hell we are. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. I probably, there's probably a rule to remove them playing game, but sorry, didn't do it. I see an eight seed when the finals, maybe I'll feel bad, but aside from that, we'll be all right. Memphis, Atlanta, Brooklyn, Timberwolves, 76ers, Warriors, and Nuggets are all out of here. The upsets you got, well, I mean, this is literally the, the Cavs versus 76ers. These teams are supposed to both be like top three drafting for this upcoming draft, so I'm not really sure I, I care that, that, that this isn't really an upset upset they're just they're both happy to be here and the lakers quote unquote upset the timberwolves because the kevin love led timberwolves are better they beat him by like 30 points or 20 22 points Kobe's obviously still healthy no torn achilles and they got meta world peace out here as well balling Kobe passed me the ball the okc thunder they beat memphis i believe they matched up with memphis in the western conference finals in one of these
these years so that's always a cool line a uh, cool matchup and jeremy lamb played a fantastic one minute this man well okay so the lake oh wow the lakers lost to the mavericks mavericks are looking built different but this man Kyrie, is giving the heat a run for their money which is just fantastic them cleveland fans are probably going crazy on braun right now but uh yeah they, they uh they lost though they lost and the knicks and bulls are in a game seven yep the bulls are beating the living hell out of the knicks i don't think they're coming oh wait i actually got pretty close but yeah not nah, now nah, the bulls got it they got it Derek, congrats Derek's heading back to the conference finals again so in the eastern conference instead of the pacers we get a rematch of the bulls versus the heat with andre miller starting at point guard who they literally had to have traded for i i didn't check no trades but yeah andre miller got traded for mike miller well that's one hell of a thing and the wolves got brandon roy up and out of here for garrett temple probably young self because he's still in the league now so he had to have been young and the thunder versus the mavericks another matchup that was probably seen in the play i can't remember they got andres nocioni starting at power forward first of all that's disrespecting nick collison if you don't just put him in the lineup and secondly you spelled andres wrong andres andre i don't know but regardless you, you messed it up 2-0 oh wow 3-0 oh, and but oh my good wait hold on so the thunder just 4-0 swept the mavericks okc is looking for a rematch in the finals against miami or maybe it's gonna be chicago because they're uh oh my god the bulls were blowing a 3-0 lead but they're going to win game seven and advance to the finals with a healthy derrick rose you know i'm just happy d rose d rose said he want to be the tom brady of the nba after missing like four of his seasons that man is out there healthy and doing swell for himself i mean the knicks aren't but he, he's doing cool and jimmy butler is in the finals like eight years before the miami one ad's got his rings a few of these other guys have got some rings but who's getting you know derrick rose or russell westbrook one of these ringless point guards will not go down ringless anymore the bulls win by six points in game one this man kd dropped 35 but it doesn't matter because the bulls had like 80 players in double figures they even got nate robinson i just seen with his five nine self in the rotation that is true this is the year that he was supposed to go crazy in the playoffs but instead they still got derrick they chanted mvp for this man hold on one second one second yeah uh, yep they are the the first first moments of gameplay in this entire video and derrick rose is getting an mvp chance at the line for his chicago bulls mvp mvp d rose the second free throw is also good yeah they're up by three points with 106 left in game two bulls can take a 2-0 series lead westbrook don't shoot no stupid three-pointers i swear westbrook going right oh no nah, that's easy that's easy no help defense sorry yeah no Derek. Hey, you guys can't probably guard each other d rose now on the end of the floor facility or you know setting up the offense the screen oh snap he gets double team joe keem got it down to jimmy butler joe keem noah with the vision he's always been known to have some and jimmy butler i mean all he had to do was hit the open layup but my god a lot on the line here westbrook again back out kevin martin open and he chokes the three up to luau dang defensive three and d score himself back out to Derek. Derek now he gets double team back over to luau he fakes the pass back over to jimmy now out to rose again are they gonna double team again i don't know pass it back to Derek. now boozer Bo oh he had the rose on the cut they didn't pass it though back out to rose rose for three to win it it's off but joe keem that was one of the most beautiful play scheme he had Derek on the cut the first time but regardless i think we all know as like season 2k simulation watchers now you know you've been in here with me if you've been around um they don't tend to run a variety of plays and that was one a very different play that worked to perfection i mean i know he missed the shot but the rebound was there for noah too and now with five i mean they're down by five with nine set dog they're not coming back they don't even they didn't even spell no Sioni right there's, oh snap kd's wide open kd is oh snap oh wait hold on hold on they're gonna let jimmy take the free throws oh boy a lot on the shoulders of this young fella and he hits it one more and the game is over jimmy do you got it in you do they yep he's got it it's over chicago bulls now obviously history is very different with this dude healthy but it is one hell of an uh you know impressive thing to see him against westbrook's 32 and 13 and durant's 36 Derek rose pulls it out alongside jimmy butler but the thunder are not giving up they're gonna come back they're gonna take a game they're gonna take a game 80 33 11 and 8 but the bulls though but them bulls though but them bulls though westbrook kd fantastic stat lines but ah uh, it's Derek carlos boozer 18 points only two missed shots rip hamilton 16 points only two missed shots joe keem almost a triple double these bulls are looking insane i think the thunder might hold away the bulls are down by two points with a chance to either send it to ot or win this game i have no clue who that is who is number 50 bro I, I don't even is that a mecca okafor or something probably is to be honest look at nate robinson in the game short so four seconds left rose going right he pulls up for three crazy contested and a mecca okafor missed it did you see that this man a mecca okafor wanted that put back so bad that his vertical failed him they, look at this look oh oh 
KD's 36 points with the Bulls blow a 3-1 lead. Well, they need to lose two more games for that, but I mean, you know. Yeah, nope, it's not happening. The first championship of what, 9-10 that we're going to see in this video. The Chicago, hey, yo, can I get a dunk real quick with Derek? Oh, yeah, hold on. Dunk meter. Okay, uh, it didn't work. It did not work. Uh, step back. Yes, sir. 119-100 win over the OKC Thunder in Oklahoma City, and the Chicago Bulls are NBA champions. Michael Jordan who? Scotty who? What? Luke Longley who? D Rose. I mean, is it really shocking that he's the finals MVP? Andres Nocioni led them in points. Oh, yeah, we got to get it. Okay, Jimmy Butler, 24 points. Luau Deng, 21 points. That is one hell of a defensive duo with Joakim Noah. And uh, yeah, Chicago is champion. 2013 champs averaging 27 and 8 a game. D Rose, finals MVP. Well, history has been re rewritten, but uh, we got like eight more years to rewrite. Jason Kidd retired. If only I told you you were also the coach of the year. We ended up the Grant Hill jersey retirement ceremony with me. The draft lottery. Oh, man. Who's winning? Wait, under via Phoenix? Thunder oh, God. I forget to reset. Look, look if, if these picks don't, I, I'll, I'll just reset them. It's cool. Don't worry. I'm here. Who is winning the Giannis lottery? Who is get? Okay. The Wizards, Suns, Pacers, Bucks, Kings, Pistons, Pelicans, Hornets, Trailblazers, and Clippers. All the picks were protected and got reset, but at least most of them within the lottery. Sorry, Utah. So is Giannis about to become a Washington Wizard? Is that, is that the development we're seeing here? The Wizards are on the clock, and with the first pick, the Wizards select a trade. Nah, you're lying. Nah, they trade. Oh my God. Instead of the Nets trading away all of their assets for, for uh, what's it called? For, for Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett. Instead, they're trading away the boxing champion, Darren Williams, and all-time franchise leading scorer, Brooke Lopez. The first overall pick, and the Brooklyn Nets are going to select Rudy Gobert. Oh my God. Oh, you guys sick of me. You guys sick of me. Uh, not Sean Marks. What's the dude name that got fired? B Billy King, I think. Oh my God. You're 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 on crack. And now the feet. Nerlens Pacers. It, it, Paul George, Giannis. Paul George, Giannis. I mean, he was good at Kentucky. I think he tore his ACL, but there's no injuries. We know that. Pacers. Oladipo is going. Oh my. This man hated Indy. He wanted to go to Miami. Are we really about to see the the same thing? Are we really? Uh, is this this what you're telling me? Is it, I I I literally uh, uh no no they did not just pass up on him. No, nah, there's no way. There's no not um he's going to Sacramento. Sacramento. Now look, this is a prospect. You know he looks he looks cool in this picture because they don't got a retro Giannis in this game. But King sure bought into what everybody was selling about Giannis and well yeah there's a lot to be proven especially in Sacramento who's known for held players not being good not developing. Not, I mean he is only a 75 overall and actually Nerlens Noel and Rudy Gobert higher overalls but to trade Darren Williams and Brooke Lopez for Rudy he was ranked number one Giannis that is but I guess they didn't really rock with him the ceiling is Tim Duncan Hall of Fame and his floor is Tim Duncan starter although Rudy Gobert's ceiling is Patrick Ewing and Nerlens Noel's is Manute Bull so um Carter Williams went to the Pelicans CJ McCollum went to the Blazers again at like a very similar pick Steven Adams to the Rockets is that Seth Curry yes sir to the Grizzlies and Trey Burke to the 76ers this is one hell of a draft is Chris Paul really a free agent out here oh man Dwight Howard now of course he's a free he had left for Houston and then the rest I mean you can't really yeah it is what it is after that but let's see who the hell goes where Chris Paul stood with the Clippers and Dwight Howard signed with the Bulls did Joakim leave is Joakim still there I don't know they still have Joakim Noah alongside Dwight Howard and they got Drew Holiday oh nah they're 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 forming the Avengers hey man I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold them I'm gonna let them rock the Bulls dynasty is this what we're seeing they might sell now now that they're like actually highly favored that's what teams tend to do in this game if you yo, know, if you're supposed to win you're not winning you know a couple of these guys are supposed to be like restricted or whatever but you can't make a player restricted in 2k that's not the fault of the guy who made the roster it's the fault of 2k being 2k aside from that though i mean hey it is what it is how jefferson went to miami josh smith went to the wizards and uh paul Millsap to the clippers tyreek evans to the sixers to fill the drew holiday spot andre guadala went to the knicks instead of the warriors david West instead of making his retirement tour with the Spurs, I believe he just went there now. Brandon Jennings went to the Raptors, Karolinko to the Thunder, J.R. Smith to the Celtics, Pekovic to the Knicks, and uh, yeah, so on and so forth. Dwight's actually already regressing, but Drew Holiday is you know progressing because he's Drew Holiday. So is Derek. So they're gonna be one hell of a backcourt. Jimmy Butler is probably out there weeping, right? I mean, yeah, you can just play the back. And yeah, we got one hell of a draft class next year, too. Team LeBron and Team Christopher Paul. You got Jay Smoove as a starter again, but this time on the Wizards now. Darren Will wait yeah oh yeah so they got Darren Williams on the Wizards too so they said for 
forget that first pick. We go and draft Josh Smith. Forget Rudy Gobert. They might be doing pretty decent for themselves now. And wait, on top of that, don't they got John Wall still too? Like they they doing they, they got John Wall in his rookie contract. I mean, he might leave low key knowing 2K and uh, Bradley Beal, Brooke Lopez, Jay Smooth. Okay, I see you guys. And Trevor Lee's are looking old as hell. But uh, when you look at the conference standings right now, yeah. So the Bulls are crazy. The Heat are crazy. And the Knicks are doing pretty good for themselves. And they got Joe Johnson. Wow. Nets must have went full rebuild. They let them out walk or some. The 76 is doing pretty solid with Tyreek Evans. Still, I don't know how this team's doing so good. The West is much more jam packed. The East has a couple guys that are at the top of the West is much more. You know, we might have to just see at the end of the season or something. The Suns, though, look at Phoenix. They got like the same team, but with Nerlens Noel and they are just going crazy this season. I don't know how that James Jones is here and James Jones is the GM of this team. I mean, they, you know, in 2K he is too. So he might've just signed himself. I'm playing 2K. Don't do that much attention to detail. You already know James Jones on this game as a GM. LeBron is the MVP again. Who the hell's gonna be mad at this? He's LeBron. Giannis, rookie of the year in Sacramento too. And with his 12.6 rebounds, four assists, solid. Who is rookie? Oh yeah, right. Michael Carter Williams. Yeah, that ain't happening again. Rudy Fernandez, six man. Oh wow. Maybe this is why the Suns were so good. This man, Rudy Fernandez out here balling. Kawhi Leonard, DPOI, Derek Williams, most improved player. That's something. And Eric Spolstra, 70 and 12. So, oh yeah, wait, right. Didn't Al Jefferson sign with Miami? The best team just got better. Here's the first team, the NBA first team. Nikola Vucevic is playing crazy. Ricky Rubio is playing crazy on the all NBA second team. My God. I mean, I guess this is why he was drafted over Steph. And the third team, KG old self. You already know how it goes. We're going to see which team of the teams that made it actually like, you know, propels and whatever, but who sold completely? Okay. Okay, the grit and grind Grizzlies couldn't make the playoffs, you know, but it is getting tougher out here. The AD's team, I mean, he's still got some years. The Timberwolves fell off and couldn't make it, even though they had all NBA Ricky Rubio and probably and probably uh, loved too. Kobe's Lakers without without Dwight Howard and with Steve Nash retired and without Meta World Peace, it looks like could not do nothing. They got Terrence Jones out there now and the Kings. I mean, yeah, they just oh, I forgot it's Giannis and Boogie. Oh my god, I forgot that's what we're looking forward to. Hopefully, Boogie don't leave, but he very well could. The Nets fell all the way off the hornets are just bad yeah i think i saw that kemba left i don't know what to tell you the pistons they got chris middleton as the, like one of the best players on the team bucks suck the magic kind of suck and yeah so who the hell's about to be nice we got to make our way to these conference finals because you already know i'm not watching all these before the jazz pacers mavericks celtics wait the mavericks just fell off like that that's kind of crazy the knicks get eliminated raptors warriors nuggets hawks trailblazers and 76ers okay so philly gets upset by cleveland but Philly's not that good and Cleveland's not that good, but Cleveland has Kyrie. So we're going to not question that. Houston upset the Nuggets. Now the Nuggets, they did lose Iguodala, but their team is still pretty solid. They got JaVale McGee, Goat Self out here and Kenneth Reed and he's 15 rebounds, but Harden is Harden and he's probably reaching like, you know, that next level of Harden. So he's doing solid. I don't know if that means conference finals because, you know, Harden kind of sells out. Uh, yeah, he's about to lose to his former team. Harden never played KD and, and Westbrook when they were, oh no, no, I think, no, never mind. They did. They did. They did. Remember that one year Harden got, uh, I mean, uh, Westbrook got injured by Patrick Beverly. They definitely had to have played each other. I know he played the Thunder when it was just Westbrook, but I couldn't remember if he played it when they were KD and Westbrook too. But yeah, no, Harden was way too prevalent even when early, in those early days. And uh, he did lose to OKC, but obviously OKC is OKC. They're the reigning champion. The Bulls are still in here, but they're currently down to Kyrie. And uh, they're 3-3 now, and the Spurs win and the Bulls win. My bad, the Spurs lost. So we get a Bulls Heat rematch, except with Drew Holiday and Al Jefferson and Dwight Howard, who's not even starting. It's one hell of a weird matchup. Also, Chris Bosh isn't starting either. So it is pretty even, even though it's weird. But I would assume they're going to wash whoever they play in the conference final or in the finals because, I mean, these teams are great. But if the Bulls already won and they got better or the Heat got better and they have the MVP. We'll see what happens. I've seen Emeka Okafor is on the Clippers now. The Bulls seem to miss that game winner and got him the hell up and out of there. But uh, yeah, the Bulls win by two points in game six to advance to the finals again. Dwight Howard just needing to drop a measly 10 points and the thunder and clippers are in a game seven and the clippers are going to lose to the thunder by five points blake tried cp tried and jose Calderon uh, old self tried but kd and westbrook are going to make it a rematch between the bulls and the thunder dwight is starting now because they just they, they don't honestly it doesn't really matter what they do they just they're just built different the bulls win game one because Derek is different they won by like 20 points the bulls it looks like it's close but they're probably going to win another one yeah they won uh, j yet another one thunder giving them run for their money but Chicago just yeah I mean they don't got like 290 overalls like how the Thunder got Westbrook and Durant but I mean they got Dwight Drew Holiday they got Rip ha wait do they still I don't know they got Luau Jimmy Butler Joakim Noah they're up 3-0 though you can't mess with
for this team. 32 and 15. And we can't undermine how good Derrick Rose is playing. This man is out here bugging. Under going to take a game, but will they blow a 3-0 lead? That'd be nuts. Yep. Chicago wins back-to-back -back championships. Derrick Rose, 34, 8, and 12 in the final game. Drew Holiday, Boozer, Luau Dang, Noah, Dwight Howard, Nate Robinson, Jimmy Butler, and Big Baby Davis with Todd Gibbs. Come on. Todd's not, not even playing. Durant, Westbrook, Reggie Jackson. I forgot he's still around here, too. Kevin Martin. Yeah, they, they tried their best. It's a great team, but uh, you're not the Bulls. It's really just Derek bugging. Elton Brand retired. Now you can go become the best, worst GM ever. Kevin Garnett is getting the hell up and out of here. No Timberwolves reunion. Uh, deuces to Nick Collison and the, and oh man, not Brian, not Big Scal. Steve Blake, come on, dog. You can't do this to me. You can't take Brad Miller. What? Richard Jefferson? All right, how they let Nico Mannion in here? And why is he 38? This man, Greg Popovich, retired. I actually over overrode his retirement last year. He does not want to be here anymore. Actually, I'm over here talking like Mike Budenholzer's and just whatever. Who cares? Hey, are we hitting up the KG Hall of Fame ceremony? The NBA draft Rockets via Brooklyn, Knicks via Chicago. Oh, wait, nah, I'm gonna have to reverse that Rockets one if it if it doesn't uh, switch back because that's the Harden trade. No, I, I forgot to do the pit. Look, the Pelicans one, that's the AD trade, although they both actually are in the lottery. So, yeah, this is an important lottery too. Okay, the Thunder via Detroit. Yeah, no, I'm about to just have to reverse all these picks, but this is this is really something. All right, cool. I fixed up all the lottery picks. So, here the hell is the lot Pistons, Mavericks, Nets, Lakers, and Kings. Another Kings top five appearance after that boogie year. My bad, the Giannis year. I don't know why I said the boogie year. And I know I saw that Jokic. I mean, it's Jokic and B. We talking Jokic and B. Jabari Parker, legendary self. Wiggins, who's turning around now. Randall, Gordon, Marcus Smart, Clint Capella, Dario Saric, TJ Warren, Bubble God, Zach Levine, Alfred Payton, and the triple double. Okay, let, let's let's relax. Detroit Pistons with the first pick in the draft. They are going to select. Okay, I thought they traded it for a second. That's why I stuttered. Uh, yeah, Nicola. You can't go wrong there. Jabari Parker goes second to the Mavericks. For the sake of myself, I hope I hope that he ends up to be actually how he was expected to be, minus the two torn ACLs. He was balling on the Bucks before he got injured. Aaron Gordon to the Nets. Okay, this is what they tanked for, though. Now, him, there's no what if with Aaron Gordon. He's just Aaron Gordon. You know what I mean? He played, and I mean, he played for Orlando, so that might, you know what I mean? The Lakers, the fourth pick, they draft uh, Andrew Wiggins. Okay. But Joel Embiid is still on the board. Are they about to draft Joel next to DeMarcus? And I mean, DeMarcus might be a free agent. So, I mean, Joel and Giannis, Andrew Wiggins, they was calling him Maple Jordan. And uh, TJ Warren, oh God. Best three-point shooters in the nation. TJ Warren, I remember for like five years, he didn't shoot a three-point. He was always remembering. Julius Randle gets selected. And now the Bucks, I mean, they sold on drafting Giannis, but they, they better not sell on drafting Embiid. They just said that Randle's skill was leading the power forwards and bench press. There it is. Joel Embiid picked by the Milwaukee Bucks is probably a few more than I'm forgetting. Uh, I mean, D Doug McDermott, um, Doug McDermott, the all-time leading scorer for Creighton. Aside from that, I mean, you got Marcus Smart, you got Dario Saric, but most of this stuff is pretty, yeah, it is what it is. You got Tony Warren Jr., dog. I can't believe, they, they could have drafted Randall and put Giannis at small four, but they drafted Tony Warren. Jabari Parker, the highest rated player, but his ceiling is Derek Favor. I'm so pissed off. Why don't you give my guy a 99 potential? I used to love Jabari Parker. I was so lame. I used to go in my backyard and try and shoot like Jabari Parker. Okay, yeah. So uh, this guy, if he wants, can go back to Cleveland. This guy, if he wants, can hella go anywhere. I mean, he's only got two offers though. Melo, are they giving you the... Oh, oh. Oh, nah. The Bulls are trying to really just, just, just go just, 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 just. Can I say just a few more times? The Bulls are moving different. Just, just vicious, vicious out here. Every team is offering Bron. You know, it's kind of interesting because obviously I couldn't get the salary cap perfect because we're talking more 10 years in the past here. But it's interesting because in 2K now, like like in the modern day, when I simulate a few years, it ends up that team's got no money to sign anybody. But in this simulation, everybody's got money to sign whoever. So anything is possible, at least for the first few years. John Wall, Ayo, they said, forget you in Washington. You're going to go to the Spurs probably. The Spurs, they gave up on Tony Parker old self. They also never made a, you know what I mean? They, they haven't made a run for nothing. And the, it looks like the Heat might give up on Chris Bosh because he's don't got no offers. I mean, they did sign Al Jefferson. So, you know, you, you got to prioritize here, guys. Al Jefferson, Chris Bosh, come on now. Luau Deng got no offers, but it looks like the team, they, they're all, everybody's focused on Bron. And LeBron, oh my goodness. Okay, so the Bulls, that, it could have went very differently, but the Bulls did get Dirk. They did not get, uh, they did not get Le LeBron or Melo or nothing. But the 76ers, I'm not going to question it. They got LeBron. I don't know what happened. I don't know who did 
this, the Sixers have somehow been making the playoffs every year despite not being that good. And they somehow convinced LeBron, LeBron James to join Tyreek Evans and Thaddeus Young. And Costa Kufus, don't forget Costa. The Thunder got Kevin Love. That's very interesting, actually. They deserve it because they, they kind of got screwed by the other teams leveling up so much. Melo is just loyal to the soil. Come on now. He could have got that bag anywhere, but he took it with my dog. We've been, we've been doing kind of decent. We might have a chance at a little ring or something. Bosh went to the Clippers. Tony Parker still with the Spurs. John Wall signed alongside Boogie, his Kentucky teammate, and, and Giannis. I'm with it. I'm with that for sure. And uh, Lou Aldang ended up staying with the Bulls. Kyle Lowry went to the Bulls too. Oh my goodness. Bulls just go there, get your rings. He said, forget Nate Robinson. And oh my goodness, why is this the first team it opened up to? I don't even want to see another team after that. Although what I do want to see after I load in this draft class, shout out to this dude again. Hey, yo, LK Hattrick. I know you misspelled some names, but so far so good. I even made the draft class. Honest, I'm gonna need a bigger leap out of you, big fella. Really, really big, lanky fella. Wow. I, I gotta acknowledge that Pau Gasol went to the Cavaliers. So now Kobe's second best player is Ed Davis. And yeah, the Bulls are just insane. They got Dirk and Lowry. Jimmy actually hasn't even taken a leap because he probably hasn't touched the ball in two years. And the Heat are now back to D Way leading the team alongside Al Jefferson and Nikola Vucevic. Although they do have all NBA second team Ricky Rubio, and that you can never go wrong with that. Knicks are still pretty similar, except they have Iguodala instead of J.R. Smith. I don't know. I can't lie. I actually really like how this league is going so far. Like, I like how Chris Middleton is just balling in Detroit. The simulation is actually doing pretty well. Aside from giving the Bulls every player ever. And uh, also LeBron going to the 76 is kind of questionable. But here's the league's best players now. As you can see, uh, most of it's pretty similar. Rose obviously took a leap because it's kind of like he won two championships or something, you know? Rondo's still trying to... Look at his look at his facial expression. You, you already know he knows he's not saving Boston. This is around the time where he would have requested that trade. Ended up in Dallas. Got pissed off at Rick Carlisle and left. I think there was an article like last week about how Luca thought Rick Carlisle was trash which i mean hey, it is what it is and uh yeah league looking pretty good so far we in year number three what is this 2015 16 i don't know no this is 14 15 well, rudy gobert saved the the franchise brooklyn kemba walker one time all-star i saw that he was actually he's he's in atlanta now and they're doing pretty him and al horford you know what i mean i mean they had to get somebody for losing josh smith and joe johnson sorry charlotte see ya i don't even think they're supposed to be called the hornets yet they probably should still be the bobcats but i don't care no actually this probably would have been the first year they, they went back to being the hornets oh my dog jay i used to be such an advocate for okay look i'm gonna die on this hill Harden should have won the mvp when westberg won it i'm sorry he should have won it he, I, but look i don't care now because he got it the next year but i thought he should have won it that year so i was always an advocate for do but uh i can't excuse him also not winning a championship by now but maybe he wouldn't have won it last year if he had a hamstring joel Embiid, rookie of the year thank god the bucks didn't screw that up but uh i don't even know who the hell else is on the bucks they're probably still the 22nd seed not even humanly possible Nikola Vucevic, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, and Mark Dangalt. Dangalt is one hell of a name. Harden, Way, LeBron, Durant, and Davis, all NBA first team. Fantastic first team to represent 2015. Walker, Paul, Willie, Williams, Derek Williams. Who allowed this? Who approved of this? Emba average like 30 points. Tim Duncan is old, musty, and fantastic. Fundamental as ever. Goran Dragic averaged 31. He is not, he, I'm never ever going to Miami. He, they are giving him the, the Birkin. Yeah. Um, okay. The same, things are starting to get interesting. Aside from the only thing that's not interesting is hold on one second. And Rudy Gobert's Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, no, they're definitely not interesting. Although shout out to Gravis Vasquez. This does not look like Gravis Vasquez though. This looks like 80 kids I know from my middle school. I said it like I'm still in middle school. I'm talking about what, what year was I in middle school? 24? I don't know. Magic are awful. My goodness. Have you guys drafted a player? Where, where are your, where, where, where are your bearings the pacers got lance stevenson and oladipo starting alongside paul George. this is disgusting they got evan turner off the bench probably playing point guard or whatever bucks oh actually you know what oh, oh this is weird this is weird tobias harris is already here he's the best player on the team and now they got mb too so they're just the sixers just the milwaukee 76ers and then you got Jokic starting alongside drummond and middleton this team is disgusting what Jokic and whatever y'all got it figure it out i mean drummond gonna be gone sometime soon and uh yes in the western conference the lakers everybody left kobe so uh, yeah they're they're not good the timberwolves they got pesite gray starting at center Th this is actually one of the worst teams i've ever seen in my life they got andre Robertson probably averaging 20. oh well no wonder Derek williams made the all nba team he's not good his team is just disgusting their six man is a 60 overall the grizzlies they fell off or hell mark gasol isn't even starting they got spencer hawes the nba's greatest
greatest stretch big ever started sun suck uh the kings suck but for now because you know you gotta wait you gotta give it a minute you got garrett temple guys just give him a second and uh from the teams who made it well, i guess we'll see who's good you see him they're right here you got it mental no nope. i think i forgot to check the stats last year but i don't care because we're not worried i mean okay i, I do care because harden 36 Kyrie 32 and you got drogic kemba and kobe rebounds boogie drummond zebo love and davis ed davis to uh be specific chris paul darren williams westbrook walker and ricky rubio in the assist category field goal percentage i don't know why i clicked on this but tyson chandler is always undefeated in the or actually just any center that just catches lobs and dunks and three point percentage of course steve novak come on now. this man james jones went miami phoenix back to miami because he's james jones i, I just saw a swaggy p on the three-point thing too uh simulate the hell out of these playoffs let's get to these conference finals already warriors 76ers blazers hawks Cavs, jazz heat pelicans who do you think is gonna win this year my knicks actually upset wow the Cavs got upset the Cavs were the first seed still with just an okay team Kyrie and Pau gasol but they lost to the celtics with galinari and rondo but now the celtics are up 1-0 against the knicks and it looks like they're gonna hell sweep them hey my knicks to give them a run for their money come on oh snap they might actually do it they did it the knicks came back from down 3-0 i probably would have never realized that if it wasn't hyper focused on it because it's the knicks and the bulls are the six seed some way in hell the bulls are the six seed i don't know really how they trade Lu did luau dang leave or something because they they i believe he re-signed with him no he's still there they're just starting they're starting uh sean marion right now for some reason i don't really know why you have like 80 other options jimmy butler luau dang but yeah somehow they're the six seed i don't really know how that happened and on the other side of things uh can we see san antonio real quick they are just the spurs with david west and the thunder or the thunder with kevin love i forgot about that entirely but yeah they are definitely benefiting i would assume my knicks still get screwed over and lose this but i'm proud of you regardless bing bong but you know bing bong got very old very fast but i'm starting to like it again so we we gonna you know, i mean i'm probably never gonna say it again but who cares the thunder and bulls are matched up for the third year in a row and now you got dirk versus kevin love and drew holiday still around and is dwight howard yeah they got too many players the thunder this time around are gonna take the quick series uh you know they're gonna take the little series lead their team was going crazy and dirk was the leading scorer for the bulls so you know dirk's still the leading scorer for the bulls in 2015 that's probably an issue okay another win okc are they finally gonna get revenge after hell actually they've lost three straight finals because they lost against the heat in 2012 the thunder another game what is Derek? okay there goes derrick rose i believe though he wasn't really doing they might have just too many hands spoons to feed hands to feed mouths to feed why how did i say spoons and hands to feed they got too many players wanting the ball probably i don't know I, i'm i'm just making excuses i don't know they, they're just losing i have a feeling yeah no they won 4-0 for the for the uh, uh oklahoma city thunder 36 and 5 with three steals and two blocks this is one of the greatest final stats li stat lines i've ever seen they only won by two points i probably should have simcasted it but i had a good feeling they were gonna win so i clicked it. this man had 33 si whoa paul I, i'm not about to read this uh i'm about to you know what i mean do the sign of the cross or something we not no but uh he had six steals and it, you see it relax kevin oh the thunder finally got the revenge and kevin durant and russell westbrook in this universe katie ain't have one either so i mean and kevin love mad kevin's Dante exum around here too marcus morris how many people marcus morris you think marcus morris punch or is it mark oh yeah mark one when they got decked by Jokic. out to Jokic's big body brothers tim duncan you know tim you're you're a really iconic figure i want to thank you for everything you did but uh i don't really care because we we got it we got to really really talk about kirk heinrich now if kirk heinrich you know kirk heinrich walks so kareem could run you know nobody could wear goggles if kirk heinrich can't wear goggles hey sean prince retired not tommy tibbs not tommy tibbs ah yes another year of the beautiful draft now at this point if you if you traded your pick that's oh wait never mind that okay these are uh, okay again those lal and brooklyn picks yeah no that's my fault the dallas one too that's the Kristaps trade i think or maybe not actually i don't know um yeah wow okay so i gotta reverse those picks but the brooklyn nets got the first pick again you know that's from the heart and trade you know and you get the magic the pacers the timberwolves i gotta give that pick to the lakers the grizzlies the suns the bucks maybe not the bucks maybe they might that might be a oh wait, no, that's a drew holiday trade oh my god yeah nobody's trading their pick the pelicans really tried to hit a lick out here stealing all these first round picks there you go this is the correct lottery because basketball and for this season oh man we've got carl Kristaps, d'angelo this this is was this year good or oh yeah right right devin booker makes it up got about d book he's the 14th pick but a lot of these like top picks didn't really do much i i guess a lot of these picks didn't i I don't know it's just a draft i said it's just a draft like that's not where the players come from devin booker goes number one this is probably the first i mean you could have drafted towns but actually no you couldn't have because you drafted gobert with your stupid self i mean gobert is still going to end up like a 90 overall so i mean i 
at least he should I, I don't know the magic second overall they pick chris Dodd's big body self they already have terrible luck with drafting players and then their players get injured so this is not the right pick man jonathan isaac hasn't played in the basketball game since 2004 carl anthony towns uh pacers that's works with me um you know that he should he should fit pretty well next to paul george i mean he kind of fits well next to anybody he's a fantastic shooter d'angelo russell goes to the timberwolves you know yeah, kind of like in real life but towns you know he's more so known for being there but whatever trey lyles he's really local for it. the greatest center of all time okay and uh who the hell their son's gonna draft instead of devin booker ah yes justice winslow him and stanley johnson was supposed to be the two biggest steals of this draft and they have been done nothing though justice winslow did have a stretch where he started at point guard for the heat for like two weeks and man he was looking like the mvp for a minute the greatest player of all time bobby bordis another year now look i've been commenting this league on the free agency being fantastic and oh man it's kevin now look i'm not gonna get ahead of myself kevin's probably gonna leave the thunder and disappoint or he might stay i guess he might stay actually let's see and Kyrie's a free agent too a lot could happen here oh, oh man oh my god kevin durant now wait didn't he he played he played at college in texas right so he's going back to texas on a three-year deal probably with a player option kevin durant has joined the dallas mavericks john rondo is staying with the celtics i mean they actually did they did pretty i mean they were the eight seed they upset the the Cavs and Kyrie Irving is going to leave the Cavs for the New York Knicks. So he joins Carmelo Anthony in the Knicks. There's going to be a lick, not a lick of defense played there, but you're going to get a lot of buckets. Darren Williams likes it in Washington. I mean, they traded their first overall pick for him. So that's the highest regard you can really get. DeMarcus Cousins. I can't think of his name without thinking of Jiddy on right now, but uh, he, he, yeah, yeah, he, he's going to the Clippers. I mean, he did, he had some experience there last season uh, in real life, not in this universe. And uh, it would have been nice to see him next to Giannis, but I already knew it was too good to be true for him to stay there for so long hopefully he can finally win something is chris paul still in the clippers wait a second is he joining lob city that man ain't catching no lobs boogie was not a, a not a leaper he was not no he was never leaping i don't think deandre jordan materialized into anything i didn't even realize chris bosh was here but uh now they got boogie blake griffin chris paul bosh Millsap, and gravis vasquez come on now hey, do you tell me the g league guys are here in this uh well actually i think this this roster is probably just old Remember when this glitch was prevalent david lee to the nuggets oh mike conley of course the lifetime grizzly until they traded him. marcus went to the warriors I, I, instead of the spurs right because he was still in portland so he went to the oh wow so yeah and by the way we haven't heard nothing from steph i don't even know if steph okay what steph regressed this man clay is the star of the team oh this is the biggest disrespect i've ever seen this man is the same overall as harrison barnes i have never seen a roster where steph curry gets worse i am appalled that aside i think everything looks like pretty normal and guess what tobias harris left and beat to go to the 76ers lebron's starting to get his little squad but yeah Kyrie, Mello, chandler felton bradley is there somebody i'm forgetting on this team or no i mean they should have had chris Doss by this point but hey it's Kyrie. actually i remember there was trade talks of chris Doss for Kyrie. the 2015 16 and bron d rose durant rondo you see it a lot of great basketball players playing great basketball crazy right and uh ah yes the ben simmons draft aka we don't care alex caruso is ranked third in this draft there's no way they got this man over Jalen Brown right now I am that is that is nuts Brandon Ingram all-star weekend team LeBron and team James oh man Al Horford's an all-star starter Kawhi Leonard one-time all-star wow that took longer than I would have thought but I guess he did have like a million players on his team but Tim Duncan just retired Al Gasol four-time all-star nothing else is really too out of the ordinary we've been seeing Zach Randolph and Joakim Noah but uh what is new is that the New York Knicks are actually overtaking the Bulls and the well I guess yeah the Heat lost LeBron but now the 76ers are pretty good they actually got Zach Randolph and Tyreek Evans and Tobias Harris and Iguodala went back to the 76ers. Wow, well. that's who was missing from the Knicks that I couldn't figure out. But uh, yeah, basically, moral of the story: um, the Knicks are supposedly better than the Bulls and everybody else in the Eastern Conference for that matter. And in the West, the Warriors are 49 and five. It don't matter what Steph overall is. It don't matter what Clay overall is. They are going crazy. Is it Tristan Thompson? Is he averaging 50? What are they doing? Harrison Barnes is leading the team, and Brian Anderson going crazy oh, Steph Curry I thought it was Seth for a second I don't know why I said forget and this is the year they're supposed actually this is the year they were supposed to win 72 and 10 so I guess they're gonna do it but led by Harrison Barnes that was really the prophecy James Harden won another MVP with his cool stuff but uh let's see you want a ring though and D'Angelo Russell rookie of the year Vucevic Kawhi Marcus Smart and Steve Kerr they really almost did it 70 and 12 they almost did 73 and 10 with Steph not even being good Harden Westbrook James Durant and Davis second team you got uh Paul Wall Anthony Love and Gasol 
and the third. That those are all rhymed almost. And then Lawson, Drogic, Hayward, Williams, and Horford. The most weird third team ever. 69 and 13 for the Knicks. Only one game behind the Warriors. And they were the only teams to win over 60 games, the two of them. Timberwolves suck. I mean, they did lose Kevin Love. I'm tired of reading out all the teams that suck. Rondo, you probably shouldn't have re-signed. The Pacers, yeah. They probably should have made it. But teams are starting to get better, obviously, as the years go on. Wow, they, never mind. The Cavs are awful. The Lakers, again, they're out here failing Kobe. I mean, then again, the, yeah, everybody just left. They 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 all failed them. League leaders in points, Harden, Durant, Davis, Irving, and Westbrook. But Harden's 10 points ahead of everybody. Rebounds, Davis, Drummond, Valanciunas, Jordan, and Love. And assists, Lawson, Westbrook, Paul, Rondo, and Wall. I said DeAndre materialized. And well, he's only an 80 overall, so I guess he really didn't. I bet. Simeon, the hell, Ayo, Sacramento, has been real. Giannis, maybe we'll see you next year, but not this one. Bucks, Raptors, Pistons, Nuggets, Rockets, Thunder, Pelicans. They're all out of here. No upsets on the East, but uh, two on the West. One being the Nuggets. They got out of here to the Spurs, but I mean, is it really an upset if you lose to the Spurs? Well, maybe without Tim Duncan, but yeah. And oh yeah, yeah, that's one hell of an upset, actually. Uh, the Thunder lost. Oh, and never mind. It, this is post KD, but KD isn't even here. KD is nowhere to be found. The Thunder did fine with Westbrook and Love. Maybe he didn't, you know, maybe KD left because Love was taking his rebounds or something, but they lost to Nicholas Batum, CJ McCollum, and Damian Lillard. Kind of wild how that pairing still happened and Aldridge still left them. And the Mavericks just barely, I'm, okay, yeah, the Mavericks also suck, to be fair. Oh, yes, yeah, nice. The Warriors just got bodied. Well, Boogie, I guess your investment, aka moving teams, paid off because, yeah, OJ Mayo could not carry the 70 to 70 and 12 Warriors anymore. The Blazers defeated the Spurs in game set. Wait, no, other way around. The Blazers lost to the Spurs. Kawhi is coming out of his shell. And the Knicks versus Heat in game seven. New York won. We have the number one versus number two seed. Knicks versus 76ers. Kyrie, if you don't give Michael Carter Williams 50 a game and Melo versus Braun is the Met. Dang, wait, have they ever played? Melo and Braun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost to the Heat a few times in the playoffs. Yeah, but aside from that, I would have loved to have seen like a Melo and Braun like like hardwood classic playoff matchup. But the Heat was just too nice. Oh, we're going to get it now virtually. And uh, the LA Clippers versus the San Antonio Spurs. I think it was the fourth seed versus the sixth seed. Ayo, they got Iman and Kawhi. I ain't scoring nothing on these guys. Roy Hibbert. Oh yeah, Boogie. Don't go in the pain of Roy Hibbert. Tim Duncan who? Knicks, come on. Don't you? Okay, it, it's LeBron. It's We're not going to... You, you disappoint me, but it's LeBron. So, uh, be, and oh yeah, right. The, the Wait, why have I not acknowledged that the Bulls lost? The Bulls lost and their Jimmy Butler is gone. I don't know why I said their Jimmy Butler like he's their possession. That doesn't really... Tyreek Evans is, is on... Yeah, Tyreek and LeBron are just carrying and the league is shaking. Let's see who's better. The Lob City Clippers with Boogie and Paul Millsap at small forward or LeBron James. First game goes to the Sixers. Second game is also going to go to the Sixers if they just... Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. There, wow, it got kind of close. LeBron, 42, 12, and 6. So in this universe, LeBron would have one ring, but uh, that's not a lot. Hold on, though. Don't you dare sleep on the Clippers. Don't you dare sleep on the Clippers. They taking a game. Nope, still sleeping. I bet LeBron's coming back with a vengeance or not. Maybe not. Yep, Clippers take another game. It's tied two to two. Thank you very much, Gravis Vasquez for 10 assists. It looks like the Clippers about to, they just held on for another win. Three straight. Chris Paul, are you about to win a ring, big fella? Boogie, are you about to win a ring, big fella? Blake Griffin, a champion? Amari Stoudemire? I said forget Braun. The Los Angeles Clippers are your 2016 NBA champions. Forget the Cavs. Forget LeBron. Hell, LeBron just blew a 2-0 a lead, a 2-0 lead, and did not win another one. Just like how Chris Paul's sons did the same thing in real life, in real life this year. But uh, yeah, no, this time around, he's on the opposite end of the spectrum. He wins finals MVP averaging, what was that, 22 and 11? And uh, yeah, wow, congrats to LA. 48 win team, body and Dirk retired. Joe Johnson retired. Anders Nocioni retired. Evan Turner is a coach? Ah, uh, yes, the Ben Simmons draft class. My, uh, cla class, class, my favorite. And what the hell, the lottery, Rockets via that's another one of them Harden picks, you bastard. Golly, Brooklyn is some trash. That go bear pick ain't become nothing. The NBA draft, 2025. Hello, Adam Silver. How are you? Brooklyn Nets, the first pick in the draft. They bought a pair up. Uh, okay. Jamal Murray. I mean, you, you can't you can't knock it. You can't knock it. You could have picked Ingram. You could have picked Brown. You could have picked Simmons. But I mean, it's Jamal. He dropped like 50 points in the bubble. Ben Simmons goes second to the Celtics. There was rumors that they actually wanted to trade for him. Uh, obviously, yeah, they haven't traded for him. So is this is addition to the Celtics mean that Jeff Green could be expendable? Yeah.
yes yes jeff green you know he's been great for like 10 years but he's he's been expendable quite literally at every point in his career malcolm brogdon was third overall before ingram or Jalen, but i mean he was the rookie of the year pacers speaking of brogdon they're gonna pick up alex caruso the dude like put up caruso's potential or something because what the hell minnesota next up Jalen or ingram which we, okay cool they went with Jalen. there's no way in hell there's anybody else that goes over ingram right dragon bender is there any way in hell dragon bender is taking us out of it okay there we go oh yeah right van vliet too yeah no, that, that's solid that's our buddy healed you know what i mean so yeah good for, good for me i mean there you go celtics your franchise may be saved rondo and ben simmons what a duo speaking of the nets there goes their signings of rudy gobert 83 i mean yeah he's rudy he's doing just fine for the rudy gobert timeline but i mean you could have had yon well actually is Giannis even doing anything so i, I won't even judge him. obi's a free agent and he actually has no offers right now but i mean uh he'll probably get out of la since they, yep he went to oh wait this is crazy the warriors you know we was just watching them be fantastic yet not have a star because steph ain't become nothing and uh guess what they now have kobe bryant to lead them at 37 years old their best player on the team i'm with it dwayne wade left the the heat for the nuggets i mean sure and kemba walker went to the lakers to take kobe's spot Kawhi left the spurs for the blazers so he joins damian lewitt i would assume joakim noah left the bulls for the wizards play still with the warriors despite the kobe signing al horford also went to the lakers kobe could have used them a few years ago and uh yeah yep 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 but that but so on and so forth and tyreek is still with bron the rudy's an 86 can i see real quick ayo hey, oh, Giannis. Gian okay Giannis an 87 yeah that, i mean it's not actually really not that far off right now so it feels like we're starting to leave the derrick rose era regardless if it's his uh his fault or the team's fault but i mean he's still in 96 lebron's in 97 durant cp3 harden irving davis rondo westbrook mellow love and that's all your 90 overalls so you're pretty accurate i mean like you know you got your 90s and that's about it although you know in real life rondo fell off a cliff around this time but hey you know i'm not gonna pray on his downfall nikola vucevic always find his way onto an all-star team actually look at Jokic and Giannis right under him you know what i mean you already know their names got to be cut off because 2k can't get nothing right but i mean how have they not updated like i don't like don't just just like just reduce the font size and release the update not even don't give it its own update okay i actually don't even agree with that that'd be stupid but like in like the six other updates he did for this game already like he couldn't have just reduced the font size oh they probably don't even know harden won another mvp that man has been going crazy ben simmons rookie of the year andre drummond six man of the year because yeah Jokic is definitely started by now harden wade durant lebron ad Kyrie, westbrook love mellow Jokic, rose rondo Giannis, hayward and what's Giannis doing out here hey oh Giannis, 16 9 and 6 yeah that's cool are the bulls back to the top oh right, well i mean yeah they're still great but chicago's back new york still got 64 wins the clippers are still holding it down the warriors with kobe bryant averaging kobe bryant numbers and he's actually averaging eight assists steph doesn't even start i don't know i have absolutely no clue what happened there and look at this the play lakers made the playing game with uh kemba michael beasley andrew wiggins and al horford the worst teams in minnesota phoenix dallas kd's team is still trash the grizzlies are still trash not gonna lie i looked at my phone for like 30 minutes and forgot i was talking about um but uh, hey why does it say that there's five teams in the play and is that even legal we're just we're just not gonna talk about it sorry the team that they got screwed over and didn't make the playing game even though they should have made the playing game Harden 39 Kyrie 32 durant 30 uh, yeah beal parker look at bradley beal reaching his peak rudy gobert led the league in rebounds rondo and westbrook and assists rockets celtics bucks kings raptors blazers heat lakers all of them out of here warriors are out of here the bulls the nuggets and the knicks warriors lost to the reigning champion clippers but on the eastern conference side of things darren williams bradley beal zach levine josh smith and joakim noah that is one hell of a team against braun and his little squad we'll see if they got it in them but uh the clippers and thunder chris paul blake griffin and boogie against westbrook kevin love russell russell and oh yeah right russell and kevin love were college teammates too we've seen a college teammate do on one of the other teams too or yeah wait it was it was boogie and john wall and then boogie left john wall so uh yeah forget that one and the clippers are up 3-1 i mean i would expect that they, they're built different and um philadelphia coming back the philadelphia 76ers came back from down 3-1 but yeah we get a little rematch of this one dog come on now ron do you got it in you are you built different or are you i don't i don't know i'm really out here with the 41 though the 41 on him another win for big Bronny Bron, and the i don't even know wait hold on i just see tobias harris and tyreek evans leading the team forget Bron. i guess he really does have a nice little squad working with him remember when T tobias harris was on the magic and hitting mad game winners they're up 
three. Oh, sorry, Blake. See you, Blake. Yeah, no, it's looking like Bron's about to get his ring finally. I mean, he already has one, but you know, he ain't see it. Bron James, congratulations. You're champion in our eyes for the first time. And uh, the 2017 champion, Tobias Harris. 4-0 sweep of the Clippers, 23-7-7. and seven. We've had mad rematches of finals. He also had three steals and three blocks. All right, I'm actually back the next day to finish this up because uh, it was 6 a.m. when I was recording. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yep, Kobe retired. I mean, he still got his five rings and he's still Kobe. Just instead of having a torn Achilles, he had a torn basketball team. Dwayne Lane. This year's NBA draft, we gotta be out from the point where picks could have been traded from the regular league. But uh, Jason Tatum, Mitchell, you, you know what it is. It's crazy this draft's already been for you. Is this another Rockets via Brooklyn pick that shouldn't? Oh my God. The Hornets, okay, the Hornets, you know what? They lost Kemba Walker mad years ago. They deserve it. Holy, bro. The Nets really traded their whole team for James Harden and his hamstrings. Why didn't I just trade all the Nets picks back to begin with? I, I, I've been doing it every year instead of, I don't know. Um, I have a weird, I, I just want to simulate through the draft and then cloud them. Let's see. Donovan Mitchell goes number one. That's cool. Cavaliers, they, I guess they really like Lori marketing because they signed dude in real life. Tatum goes number four to the Pistons. I'm, I'm a little foggy on the memory right now, but they got somebody that, oh, yeah, wait, I think they got Jokic there. Markel, Mavericks, De'Aaron Fox, Suns, Alonzo Ball, Hawks, Kyle Kuzma will save the Blazers. Oh, and you already know Denver Nuggets, Denver Nuggets. Another year. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Wait, I forgot Derek. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I didn't forget, but like we haven't seen him in free agency. You know, him, Harden. Harden could leave Houston for the first time. Westbrook could leave OKC for the first time. Kevin Love can also leave OKC. Giannis, is, we finally got some restrict. Oh, actually, wait. Westbrook, it says is restricted. That man's getting screwed over. He ain't never leaving OKC. I mean, then again, he really did never leave OKC. What the hell? They re-signed Westbrook and Kevin Love and signed Derrick Rose. And James Harden went to the Celtics. Dwight Howard joins LeBron on the Sixers. The Kings, I mean, that Giannis obviously is staying. Drew Holiday, congrats. You got the franchise to yourself now, for better or worse. Hey, Lillard and McCollum are both the same overall. His whole rookie contract is up, and he's still, he's still just, yeah. Steph Curry signs with the Blazers. He was an expendable piece. So he's going to be playing behind. And now, oh, wait, no. Dame left for the Bucks. Wow, I just realized. That was going to be Steph. And, uh, but no, the biggest thing, though, is what the hell? We got OKC Thunder. They they are trying to come up. They said, you know what I mean? Kevin left, but now they got Derek. Derek and Westbrook is a weird fit, but they'll they'll make it happen. Neither one of them could play shooting guard. So I'm going to change that for the sake of them because, you know what I mean? You, you got to have both of them starting. Dwayne Wade, old body self, might be out of here soon. But, uh, you know, you got Frank Nilakina coming in. So who really? You don't need him. Oh, my name is Joel Embiid. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Nikola Jokic, the 2018? He's still on his rookie contract. And there's a 2018 MVP averaging 31, 13, and 8 per game on 50, 80, not, or 50, 40, 80 shooting. John Collins won rookie of the year. That's interesting. Serge Ibaka, six man of the year. Rudy Gobert. Oh, there you go, Rudy. And actually, the, the Nets, I mean, they made the playing game. I guess that's a start. And Zach Levine, most improved player. Marky Mark Dangal, coach of the year. That must mean the Thunder are doing pretty well for themselves. The Kings, John Wall, all NBA first team. And then the second team, you got D'Angelo Russell. And the third team, you got Drew Holiday. I just saw Julius Randle on the third team, too. I'm proud of you. Even though you've been garbage in real life recently, but we're not going to talk about wow. Remember when I talked about Chris Stops going to the Magic and like, you know what I mean? That might not be the best idea because he's injured, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, he's doing fantastic. Hopefully the team is too, but he averaged 30 points himself. He's maybe not Jokic because he, you know, he, Jokic is just, Jokic is just Harden, AD, and Russell follow them in the scoring leaderboards. Then for rebounds, you got Drummond, Jordan, Davis, Love, and Jokic assists. You got Paul Rubio, Wade. Wow, Wade and Rubio, and they're on the same team, Walker and Rondo. The Nasus on Teta Kumpo led the league in field goal percentage. That man is shooting all layups, all hits, no misses. And Chris Middleton on the Raptors now. He, I mean, I, I would say he didn't actually become Chris Middleton, but 83 overall is like the Chris Middleton range, so I'm not even mad. And uh, Michael Beasley, look at you go. Melo is still out there catching and shooting off Kyrie, dribbling, dribbling, and dribbling. You know, I got the energy now. Let, let's see what teams suck. Who, who fell off? Who's trash? I think this is the Joel Embiid team. Uh, jo oh, wow. Embiid and Lillard. I forgot that was a thing. I never put two and two together in a little bad weather. Hey, uh, Paul George and Towns, they're not really doing that great. Julius Randle's team is pretty garbage, but he is Donovan Mitchell on the come up. Cavs got a dude named Darrell Olsen starting or Daryl or whatever. He's bad. And then uh, the, the Hawks, yeah, they're also just bad. Lonzo, you got to save them. The Suns are, as of now, bad, but they do have a backcourt of De'Aaron Fox and Freddie Boy and the Rockets or, yeah, and the, the, the Jazz.
jazz are yeah and grizzlies and wolves are just yeah 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 you get it you get it they're all not that great the best teams though the sixers and the thunder are both tied with 60 wins and you already know what the thunder situation is and then imagine having jj reddick stand on the perimeter along with kevin love waiting to catch and shoot and in the sixers uh jeff t get just fine at point guard if you have lebron james and dwight howard on the team darren williams he ain't on no traje tra trajectory to become a boxer because uh his team is doing i mean he is doing fantastic along with his team and the knicks are tied with them and the clippers we've already seen them win a ring so it shouldn't be surprising or too surprising or nothing they even brought eric gordon back and look at this isaiah thomas he never really went crazy like he, he didn't have to you know, he's not going too crazy but the starting point guard actually where is rubio wasn't rubio like the assist leader or something that means like the eighth man on the bench all right it's time lakers nets pelicans and magic the oh yeah right the nets were in the playing game celtics are out here mavericks spurs kings 76ers blazers and raptors and wait so wait i knew the second i said it that wasn't normal the sixers just lost in the first round to mvp Jokic. he was giving dwight howard the buckets the assists the rebounds the everything along with rookie jason tatum playing 36 minutes and doing really not he shot two for nine and they got jordan hill so obviously they're gonna win and then the wizards got upset by the seven seeded heat miami rudy yay you know what i mean jimmy oh jimmy butler went to miami eddie's young and ty lawson dennis smith jr rookie self jonathan isaac rookie stuff they got themselves a little nice little squad i mean it's really not that like it's just ty lawson G gary harris jimmy butler rudy gay but who will this is like that clippers team that was having those battles with uh when patrick beverly was trying to guard kevin durant they beat the pretty stacked wizards team with most improved players zach levine and aside from that those are the only two upsets the heat are out of here the thunder are out of here the nuggets are out of here and the pistons are out of here so the pistons eight seeded team they forced the bulls to a game seven but chicago matter of fact i said the thunder mad nonchalantly but they lost to the warriors now kobe retired and now harrison barnes jared jack who actually came back to the golden state after years of leaving clay thompson harrison barnes demontis Sabonis, lamarcus aldridge jordan clarkson nurkish Pau gasol they were able to knock off the thunder with you know i mean uh, kevin love westbrook and rose clippers beat the nuggets that's fine i don't even really oh the nuggets were an old team too i don't know how they really did that nick swept the heat and the bulls were able to knock off the pistons who upset the you get it oh, you're right i didn't even look at the matchups i usually look at these matchups uh yeah you see it you see it um it, we already know the clippers good and well and we know the warriors now because i just went over the whole team and the knicks and bulls knicks are up 2-1 right now and oh wow yeah wait wow i didn't i didn't forgot that the bulls this is post derrick rose and they post derrick rose post noah post dwight howard post luau dang post everybody they got tony roden starting at point guard but drew holiday is going crazy enough to lead him to the conference finals and hell they're tied 2-2 the warriors get eliminated by the clippers that shouldn't be too much of a surprise they've had a well you know they've, they've been pretty well documented to be great and my new york knicks defeat the bulls in game seven Kyrie irving and carmelo anthony are heading to the finals for what i believe is the first time with vucevic otto porter and avery bradley and uh let's see if the knicks can knock off the now the clippers did get knocked off by the 76ers who got bounced in the first round but the knicks knock off this team that actually has a championship pedigree which is weird to say because it's the clippers brandon jennings 20 points and six assists to lead the knicks to the first win we're talking 2018 so as a knicks fan this is supposed to be the year where actually i think where chris stops tore his acl and they drafted kevin knox but instead they're in the championship so that's cool the knicks win another one like like chris haynes said they cruise past the clippers but uh you know you still got two more to go hey yo they're making it kind of eat they they are they are bodying they took a little fourth quarter lead mellow 35 and 10 assists Kyrie 22 and 11 says Vucevic 23 and 11 rebound I told you that man was on the all-star team like six times actually that might have carried over from his past career honestly there's no way this man made an all-star team six times in this league it was like an 83 and my New York Knicks I'm not gonna jump in we, we've seen the celebration championship but wow 20 or 36 and 10 from Kyrie 28 and 7 with three steals from Melo Vucevic who who's the jeff green oh yeah wesley matthews tyson chandler's still here he's like a lifetime nick at this point and they got nikola pekovic sitting on the bench oh yeah come on now even trevor reza with his musty face they still got him out here why are they like let, ain't let them in like wash his face or something come on now uh yeah one 137 126 when the new york knicks 4-0 sweep are nba champions of the 2018 season and carmelo anthony takes home the nba finals uh, mvp 27 and 9 a game my god Kyrie was second in the playoffs in scoring and mellow was six but you know Melo had to show up a little bit in the finals with his 34 year old self he might regress a little bit after this season but this was probably you know what i mean this is the best time for him to win a ring or the last time for him to win a ring until he teams up with lebron and anthony davis in la ronnie brewer retired and speaking of Anthony davis where the hell has he been i i feel like that man's got to be on, on par to leave uh the pelicans because that man is not they have not done nothing this team is awful did i just see hold on do you see who they just had hold on one second they got austin 
Day. I remember Austin Day. They got Amari Stoudemire probably still in the rotation. I remember by this point in real life, Amari Stoudemire was playing in Israel. Doc Rivers being the coach of the Hawks is kind of cool. I know he played for them in his regular career. You know you've seen Doc Rivers on the all or not the all time, but the one of the classic Hawks teams in 2K. The draft lottery for 28. This is for Luca, by the way. Oh, the Hawks, of course it is. And the, the Jazz got it. The, I haven't seen the Jazz get much luck in this. So, I mean, then it, what's is anything new? But will they actually draft Luca? The question remains no, but Jaron Jackson is their pick. Luca Doncic go. Oh, there we go. Anthony Davis joined by Luca Doncic. Marvin Bagley still went number three overall to the Rockets. They're probably going to regret that one. I mean, it says he could be all NBA, but remember when Jabari got drafted and they, yeah. DeAndre Aiden goes to the Hornets, Bamba, Trey Young goes to the Suns, MPJ to the Cavs, Shea to the Pacers. This is like all the, it's crazy that all these dudes are starting to like finally dominate the league now. Like Shea has hit like seven game winners this season. Kyrie declined his player option. Ayo, uh, don't, I mean, at least you guys got your ring. If he wants to leave, it's, it's, he's unpredictable. LeBron re signs with the Sixers. KD leaves the, finally though, finally, my God, you're stupid for leaving the Thunder in the first place, but he did finally get to, uh, he, he goes and joins Kemba Walker, Al Horford, and Michael Beasley, who's actually a good child, his, a childhood friend of his. And he leaves this garbage Mavericks team who did just sign DeMar DeRozan, but they were garbage for too many years. I, I don't think you get that in your head at that point. And Kyrie actually did re-sign with the Knicks. Chris Paul left the Clippers for the Nuggets because, you know, Frankie Lakin is there, so you can't really, oh my AD, I said he was probably going to leave soon, but he signed with the Warriors. He left this man, uh, what's his name? He left Luka. He's not trying to wait for Luka to have his little come up. He's gone. He went and joined the Warriors team who has been great and despite not really having the greatest roster. Blake Griffin joins the Blazers, so he's now going to be playing with Steph Curry, who was drafted a few picks after him, I think, in the same draft, or maybe that was a different, I can't remember. And uh, yeah, so on and so forth. Chris Bosh also went to the Knicks, so they just bolstering up the roster. I don't think Melo left or retired or nothing, so yeah. That is still the craziest part of all. This man, Steph Curry's an 83 overall. Oh, they got Kawhi over here, too? And they got Jimmy Butler and Gordon Hayward. This is like the, 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 the rejects team of this simulation. They said, oh yeah, no, all these players are trash. But AD, Aldridge, Barnes, Thompson, Brooke Lopez, Jax, yeah, yeah, that, that team might be a little different. 2018-19 season, Team Nicola and Team De Oh, Giannis is a starter. Oh yeah, that Rudy Gobert pick looking kind of crazy now. Randall, Towns, Booker. Oh, we got all these, you know what I mean? Aren't they all Kentucky? I don't even watch college, but I just know some of the players where they be from. So like, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but who cares? And Ben Simmons is an all-star. I forgot what team he's on, but he's whoever, wherever he is, he actually is saving him. Real quick, MVP race. Oh yeah. Well, first of all, Kevin Love, congrats for being that good. And Kemba Walker too, because he's got KD on his team. My God. But uh, Jokic is just insane. I have, I I don't think, I don't see, see this man play this good in the regular simulation. I had to give props to 2K. I guess, you know, there's some things that are just stupid about this game and the my league and the simulation, the game in general. But simulation, now that I got the simulation on like default settings and it's actually pretty good. Yeah, Jokic is different. He was so close to the 50, 40, 90, 50, 40, 86. Luka, rookie of the year, man. Yeah, I mean, an AD left and just said, oh yeah, nah, you could have the ball. Zach Randolph, six man. Rudy Gobert, DPOI. Ben Simmons, most improved for Boston. And Mark Dango, his, uh, you know, I don't know if that's even how you pronounce it, but I don't really care. The Thunder, 71-11. Giannis made the All-NBA first team. Yep, he's starting to average these Giannis numbers, my God. And he's shooting well from three. Look at that. Kemba Walker, All-NBA first team, even as a teammate of Kevin Durant. Speaking of Kevin, there the hell he goes. He's doing just fine himself. D. Rose and Russell Westbrook headline the third team as teammates. 56 and 26. The New York Knicks are still on top. I mean, they actually are doing, they, they had a better record than last season, I believe. But um, six is pulled in Tony Parker. And I mean, that's a good old point guard to have on your team. The Celtics with Rondo, Harden, Ben Simmons, and Gallinari. I mean, you can't really mess with that. Wizards are good, although Darren Williams actually got benched, so I definitely jinxed the hell out of him. The Nets now with Jamal Murray, Devin Booker, Rudy Gobert, Wiggins, who's an 87 overall, fulfilling his potential. Well, actually, they said he was going to be Maple Jordan, so I mean, he still didn't reach it, but whatever. And the Hornets with Julius Randle and a young Donovan Mitchell. That is actually, that was Donovan Mitchell's specialty, though. That man was in his second year and led his team to the playoffs. We already know the Thunder deal. The Thunder are crazy. The Portland, Portland with uh, Steph Curry and TJ McCollum off the bench. Hawaii and Blake Griffin leading the pack. Lakers, KD and Kemba. Warriors are the Warriors with Anthony Davis. You know this by now. The Nuggets, Chris Paul and Dwayne Wade. I just realized I got like one and a half of the banana boat. And Monte Ellis and Kenneth Freed still around. Minnesota makes it. No playing, no nothing. They just make it all together. D'Angelo Russell and rookie of the year of last year, John Collins with Miles Bridges starting. Wow, this team isn't even that good, but they, they pulled it through. Jalen Brown. The Clippers replaced uh, Chris Paul with John Wall, but they also lost Blake, so they're kind of screwed. And then for the teams that suck, Lucas Pelicans, the Jazz, the Spurs.
Clippers and they, they, yeah, no, these teams, they just suck. They just suck. It's been like the same teams every year too, almost. This team drafted Trey Young to play behind De'Aaron Fox and Fred Van Vliet. Man, you guys are great. This team though should be making it. The 86, uh, Damian Lillard and Joel Embiid, come on now. They, they should be making it, but they missed the play in altogether. Mad teams in the East with 40 wins though. All right, let's check it out. League leaders, Jokic is just insane. He probably, yeah, he probably led the league or no, he led him in rebounds for sure, but not assist. Rebound uh, points, Jokic, Levine, Porzingis, Russell and Beal, rebounds, Jokic, Towns, Love, Drummond and Valachunas and assists, Paul, Walker, Lillard, Rose and Westbrook. Embiid, he's a 94 overall and led the league in field goal percentage. So that's always a good little recipe, but his team also sucked. And Cesar McCollum's good at shooting threes. Steph Curry also found his way to the Mavericks again. So here the hell goes nothing. Kings, Pacers, Clippers, Pistons, Deuces. Mavericks are out of here. Raptors, Rockets, Celtics, Wizards, Lakers, and Nuggets, and Bulls. Um, A couple upsets. The the, the Ben Simmons-led team lost to the Donovan Mitchell and Randall-led team. Well, I remember when they had the Rookie of the Year debate for Matt Long? I guess that was Donovan's revenge. I don't I don't really know. He didn't, I mean, neither one of them. I right, whatever. Brooklyn, Devin Booker with, with Gobert and all of them. Wiggins, they upset. Uh, yet again, the Wizards get upset. But I mean, it was a four to five seed upset. So who really cares? And the Lakers, Kevin Durant's team loses to the De the really weird D'Angelo Russell and Jalen Brown-led Timberwolves that aren't even really that good, but they're good. They still got Chase Budinger playing in the year of 2019. You got a Knicks versus Nets matchup in the next round. Timberwolves are out of here. Hornets are out of here. Warriors are out of here. And the Knicks are out of here. I think they were up 3-1. What the hell? But the Nets are looking kind of different this year. And my Knicks, the reigning champions. I mean, at least you guys got one. But um, I mean, it was a pretty even matchup. I can't even, I can't even lie. It was pretty even. The Knicks have two 90s, but the Nets have, you know what I mean? You see it. You see it. So we got the 76ers who were what seed? What seed was this guy for a second? The second seed. Okay, yeah. So they 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 just didn't get upset this year. Against the Brooklyn Nets. LeBron versus Andrew Wiggins, the matchup of the century. And Rudy Gobert versus Dwight Howard. The two DPOY guys. I mean, I yeah, so wait, um Gobert has been winning mad DPOYs in this simulation too. So they both are probably similar in their rankings of that. And the Portland Trailblazers led by Kawhi and Blake Griffin with Steph. And they still got CJ McCollum off the bench despite being an 87 against the Thunder. We know good and well what the Thunder possess in their talent. And uh, oh, the Sixers. Now that's not too surprising, but look at this. The Portland Trailblazers 4-0 sweep. The Thunder yet again. I mean, it is a weird fit and they don't, I guess they don't have the most depth. It's really just Westbrook, Love and Rose and I don't know, Clint Capella. But we've got a matchup in the finals and Steph Curry might still become a champion. Him, Kawhi, Blake, Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Kawhi doesn't even have a ring in this simulation. He's actually one of the players that has benefited the least from re-simulating this because, it, yeah, the 2014 Spurs ring never happened. But is LeBron just still too powerful? Can they not overtake the big dog in 2019? I mean, the simulation has been entertaining regardless, but we haven't really seen any close gameplay, surprisingly enough. Oh, you crazy bastards. I swear that was not planned. I did not call Ronnie. I did not call LD. CJ McCollum is now, I mean, I wouldn't say he's the face of the Blazers since, hell, they got him off the bench, but he, I mean, he's here and Dame isn't. And Steph Curry is in the game with his 83 overall sub. It's going to be weird if Steph Curry misses like a wide open three or something. Who is, okay, McCollum to the basket. You got somebody in the corner. Who is it? Collison. Collison trying to get to the basket and he does successfully daring Collison. I'm feeling a different camera angle. Let me see. Yeah, this is cool. I just wanted to zoom it in more. Okay, LeBron trying to take it to CJ McCollum. LeBron, he, uh, CJ with the defense. I mean, I don't know why the hell he's guarding LeBron. They got mad guards in here. But that's Jimmy Butler right there, but he is guarding Tobias. But I mean, you got to put somebody on LeBron James, you know? And Steph is wearing 23, which is wild. McCollum with the screen again. I don't, I can't tell who this big man is, to be honest. But oh, there he is. Spencer Hawes with the layup around Dwight Howard. Back and forth so far. Not one stop yet. And LeBron, I just realized he's wearing number 22. Who are you, Jimmy Butler? Down to LeBron in the post against CJ McCollum. Someone please help this man. There you go. And Tony Parker for three. It is off. The rebound by Hawes up to Curry. Curry now trying to get it to the basket. He, he, yeah, no, he relax. Back over to Collison. Collison back out to Curry. The screen off ball. McCollum for three over Braun. CJ McCollum makes it a seven point lead in the Blazers. The reject team with mad players who did not fulfill their potential except for CJ, honestly. Dwight Howard and LeBron passed over to Tyreek Evans. Wow, he hit that. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say this is probably over regardless though. I'm just gonna, yeah, 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 it's over. It's over. McCollum and, oh yeah, right. And Blake Griffin ain't no reject either. He's doing just fine. And Kawhi, I mean, he's a couple overall points short. He's like an 87. He should probably be like a 95 by now, but are they even the underdogs in the series? I don't know. I mean, I guess you're always the underdog if you're up against LeBron. The Sixers are gonna win the second game to tie up the series. And like I said, LeBron, Tyreek Evans, a 10 assist himself. Oh God, I got a bad feeling for the Blazers right now. They are they are getting bodied. Kawhi is trying his best. Oh yeah, I just realized we have a Kawhi versus LeBron finals. I don't know why it took me that long, but no, a lot has changed. We're in very different circumstances. It's a Trailblazers versus 76ers for God's sake. The Trailblazers are looking
looking to tie up the series and every game so far except for that first one has been like kind of a blowout but uh yeah they held down the sixers completely in this game they won by 32 points and blake had almost a triple double with 35 a two to two series probably the closest series we've seen yet unless i, I don't know i'm just i'm short-term memory and in game five it's looking like the blaze is gonna take this one i mean it's close as hell but I, it's it's just yeah 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 the blazers got it they got it blake griffin 36 and 14 you know he had a lot more potential than he ended up being you know what i mean that people thought he was gonna be this that the other and uh you know it's kind of funny because for the one season that he was really healthy and fantastic in detroit he, he looked like he was that was like his best season he was shooting threes he could still dunk a little bit but it wasn't you know what i mean he was playing a very versatile role and that was like his fulfilled potential but then he got injured again and it hasn't been the same since now he's in brooklyn and just chilling but um yeah the, the six is gonna win another game to force a game seven very low scoring game overall no play only one dude in 20 points scoring in the whole game in game seven in portland damian Lillard gonna be pissed this team about to win without him because i'm not even it, it looks like they are actually portland trailblazers are your 2019 nba champions Kawhi leonard 27 9 and 6 blake griffin 27 and 6 uh tj mccollum 18 curry 17 butler 15 hayward i forgot hayward's here with 12 lowry 9 hollison 6 spencer hawes the god himself and og ananobi chilling on the bench and lebron uh he played actually fine i mean maybe he could have dropped 40 but no dwight howard had eight points but he's not really in his prime anymore and uh blake griffin your finals mvp so far we've seen a lot of guys get rings even steph has a ring off the bench for this godforsaken team steph is like playing like dennis schroeder this simulation i did not expect this tony parker retired i mean hey he gave another shot he's already got his rings though so he'll be all right kendrick perkins retired monte ellis retired aaron aflalo retired randy foy retired charlie villanueva retired luau dang right there's just mad just just D Wade and Tony Parker, Hall of Famers, Amari Stoudemire jersey retirement. In the 2019, we talking Zion, we talking Big Dog, we talking Rockets took the Kings picks. You know, that that is a new deal. That is a new trade. Congrats. You get to keep that one, my God. Unless it's protected, it's very well could be. But uh, who the hell's getting Zion? The Pacers, Suns, and Spurs go top three. Pacers got Towns and Paul George, but they have not been doing anything. So I, I mean, I don't really know how much a draft pick gonna help them at this point. Even if it is Zion, I don't know how. How many more years they got of those other two guys being together i digress you can't really go wrong with a number one overall pick and zion williamson is going to indiana although him and towns are both not really known for their defense so that should be one hell of a rim protecting duo john moran goes to the spurs one pick short of the grizzlies who got eric poshkal who's a 79 overall already rj barrett goes to the hawks with lonzo and uh yeah the, the, aside from that i mean garland's been going crazy this season in real life but he's only a 72 overall on here tyler here i'm pretty sure he's from milwaukee and he stays there and bo bo goes to the nuggets Carmelo Anthony. Now, look, I can't blame you if you try and move. You, you've been around for a minute. And Boogie, Boogie of the Clippers. I mean, he's got a ring. You know, he's got some rings on his finger, but you can do whatever the hell you want. Uh, Christos Porzingis, Carl Towns are all restricted. All these guys are restricted, but a uh, decent little class. And like I said, yeah, Paul George might be out of here now. Carmelo Anthony re signs with the Knicks. Cousins re signs with the Clippers. Lamarcus Aldridge joins Melo and Kyrie on the Knicks. So he leaves after AD comes and steals his touches in Golden State. But Brandon Jennings leaves new york for the blazers they had another i guess i mean not reject but whatever paul george goes to the raptors and yeah so on and so forth there's just a lot raymond felton goes back to the knicks hey, hey, hey michael beasley to the bucks the nba legend himself what a team 2019 2020 team nicola and Derek. what a world we live in luca is already an all-star zach levine's an all-star d'angelo russell and ben simmons there you see him again cut off at the bottom Melo and Kyrie, both starters out here you know you know the vibe Jokic is a three time MVP. John Morant averaged 26 points in his rookie season. I don't know how bad the Spurs are, but he, uh, you got to give him props regardless. Thaddeus Young, six man. Rudy, oh, and he went back to Philly. Rudy, defensive player of the year again for what is this? We got to give him his props at a certain point. I mean, they, they did also do pretty good and made like what the conference finals. He's a three time DPOI. Mo Bamba, most improved. And Marky Mark, coach of the year. Kemba Walker, again, all NBA first team. And Luca is already here in his second season. Ironic, just, just like real life. D'Angelo Russell, all NBA second second team he's definitely fulfilling all of his potential the wolves been doing pretty good now i could see because he's a 90 overall they're, they're, he's looking kind of different and andre drummond all nba third team you know yeah i never really mentioned it but he he left detroit for san antonio because you know Jokic was starting over him all those years 50 wins for the blazers but yet again even though they've been selling in the playoffs the thunder yet again are the thunder we've got deveda servides lakers you know they got kevin durant and kemba walker the, the we know the blazers the clippers with demarcus oh i just realized that demarcus and john wall are back together it was together for one 
they, they've been together on three different teams, college and the NBA twice. Yeah, this Timberwolves team starting to look legit now because John Collins has already won Rookie of the Year. Now he's going up. Jalen Brown is Jalen Brown, D'Angelo Russell. And they got Matthew Dellavedova. Come on now. Luka Doncic led this pretty awful Pelican. They got 275 overalls, one being Karis LeVert and the other being Journeyman Shelvin Mack. Starting in the backcourt, but Luka leads this god-awful team. Look at this. Draymond's here. This man Draymond never became it. That, that's kind of sad. At least he's still around. Giannis' team just barely missed the, the play-in game. John Morant already leading the Spurs team, and but they didn't make nothing, though. The Mavericks suck now because DeMar is alone with Markel Fultz. I doubt Trey reaches his potential if he's behind De'Aaron Fox. The Hawks, speaking of Trey, is the, are the worst team in the league with Lonzo Ball and wherever the hell RJ Barrett is. Magic, Kristaps can't lead that god-awful team. The, the Heat, my goodness, and the, the Cavaliers, my god. The Raptors are actually pretty good. Wow, they're actually really good. Schroeder, Shumpert, Paul Shumpert's an 84 overall. That man is never going to dancing with the stars. Chris Middleton, Jonas Valanciunas, Chris Dunn, Jared Bayless. They are great. But they missed the playoffs, to be fair. We gotta keep, you know, keep it a stack. Pisson just barely made the play-in game despite having MVP Jokic. And uh, I guess you could see the rest. I, they, we, we know what most of these top teams are. Ben Simmons team, the LeBron team, the whatever. The, 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 the Drew Holiday team is still fantastic. League leaders in points for this season. Jokic and Tatum are both top three so they're just trying to carry the hell out of the pistons but they're barely in the playing game so we'll see how that goes donovan mitchell in between them and then you got luka Doncic and zach levine in this points and then rebounds you got Jokic, drummond towns valanchunas and griffin assist walker paul rose russell and westbrook Google percentage is already zion in his rookie season three point is deveda servides he's probably getting a lot of open looks off the westbrook and rose drives you know i wonder if 2k like thinks about that when they simulate i don't know how i don't know i didn't code this game but the nuggets are out of here the pistons are out of here yep the mvp he gets eliminated in the play play in game. They're the Pacers, who uh yeah, they made it. They, they're gonna be playing the Knicks. Uh, the Pacers are pretty good, so I'm kind of intimidated there. Pelicans are out of here, Grizzlies are out of here, Rockets, Celtics, 76ers, Pacers, Clippers, and Hornets. This is the first uh I was about to say it's the first time we saw no upsets, but nope. The John Wall and Cousins led Clippers lost to the Jalen Brown and Russell led Timberwolves. But I mean it's only a four to five seed, you know what I mean? A lot of close series though in this first round. Second round, uh, let's see who's got it in them. Lakers are out of here, Bulls are out of here, Thunder and Nets. So the Thunder yet again, but Rose and Westbrook and Capella and Love thing is just not, it's just not working. They got 390 overalls every year. Fantastic. They're looking like the, the Raptors of the 2010s until Kawhi came, except 10 times better. So they don't really have many excuses. The Wizards versus the Knicks. Why is the background just blacked out? Why is there not? Okay. So we just, we just said, forget that. I just reloaded it and it did it again. So we're just going to rock with it. Look at this. The Wizards got the Grizzlies, Zach Randolph and Mark Gasol duo. On top of that, they got Levine. Bean, Beal, Darren Williams, and the Knicks are the Knicks with, with LaMarcus Aldridge now too. Is this going to fix itself when I go over to this team or, or is it we just, okay. So let me, let me just uh, try this. Let me just, yeah. Nope. Still a black screen. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah. D'Angelo Russell, Jalen Brown, and John Collins versus Steph Curry, who guess what? Congrats as a starter. It's CJ, Kawhi, and Blake. So are they going to repeat? Knicks up to, okay. Tied 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two Wizards. Wizards came back and defeated the Knicks after being down 2-0, kind of like Kawhi in that 2019 season. I just referred to against the Bucks and the NBA Finals. Wow, I was talking about Steph, and now he lost his starting spot to Brandon Jennings. But aside from that, everything's the same as we just went over. Trailblazers versus Wizards. Don't worry, you don't got to look at that screen no more. We just literally no background at all. We're gonna move to this. Looking, the Blazers go back to back. I don't know where Bron's at, but I mean, the White's got to be getting old as hell. The Blazers win the first game by 25 points, despite three players in the Wizards and uh, you know, what I mean, 20 plus. They're actually up against Nicholas Batum, the former Blazer himself. You know, you can't have Blazer on Blazer crime. Come on now. Stephen Curry, look at you go. 25 points. He's averaging 15 in this playoff run. And 25, what is that? A career high? Let's see. His career, his season high was 28. You already know that 62 is from his past career. That ain't accurate. 2-0 lead for the Blazers. They lose a game to the Wizards. Uh, Zach Levine, 30 points. Levine really is that guy, too. Like, I wonder, well, the league is looking like in shambles right now with all the protocols and everything. But Levine hasn't really got a shot to show anything in the playoffs, if ever. I don't know if he's even ever made the playoffs. I can't think. Hold on. This game is close as hell. Let's see if Zach got some in him. But um, Levine would probably be the guy to just be stupidly good in the playoffs too like i don't think he just fall off i might have just jinxed him though sorry steph curry gets the ball in the backcourt they're up by one point steph you got some menu to force the oh pass over they double team and lowry in the corner for three i don't know why they would double team what is steph doing in this game to command a double team he ain't doing nothing at all he's got seven points and 11 assists they probably been double teaming the whole game they just see oh snap wait I, they probably they probably get a deja vu of steph in a different life over here dropping oh well i mean he does have a 97 three-point shot he's still Steph but he's not Steph Kawhi Leonard just got subbed in for Curry
Curry. That's probably the smartest substitution they could ever make. And Kawhi is guarding Bradley Beal. Can they get some off here to make it? A, oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's got him in prison. Beal, no, you're, you're, yeah, no, it's not happening. It's just, it's just not happening. Oh my God, that is, that is torturous. A four point win by the Blazers. I can't remember. Were they up three? Were they? I can't remember if they, this was the winner or not. No, they're up three one. Okay, it's got to be over though, dog. They're, they're different. The Wizards said, hey, wait, hold on. Washington takes a game. And they come back from down three one. Is Steph about to blow another three one lead? No, no, it's not happening. Actually, it's, it's really not. Blazers one twenty five one hundred win. They win their second straight championship. Stephen Curry. You know, you may not be Steph of Steph. Uh, you know, Stephanie Steph, but you are dropping twenty two points with six threes in the last game that you need to win a championship. Um, you you can't doubt that. And CJ McCollum, shout out to you for getting more shine in this. I don't know. Jimmy Butler's just chilling on the bench right now, and Brandon Jennings is Brandon Jennings. OG Ananobi's actually getting minutes now. And Festus Azili is still around. Oh man, that wait, they have a Festus Azili face scan? Oh yeah, he's probably because he's on like the 2017 Warriors or something. Blake Griffin, the finals MVP yet again. They call that man a, a playmaking paint beast. That's the best way to put it. Andre Iguodala retired. Gerald Green retired. EJ Tucker retired. Nate Robinson's out of here. David Lee, Jarrett Jack. Pekovic is gone. Larry Sanders is gone. Felix De La Cruz. This isn't a real person. Draft lottery of 2020. Why am I drawing a blank on who we're going for here? I can put, I can think of the 2011 draft class any day, for, but for some reason, I can't remember who was drafted in 2020. Hawks, Suns, Magic, uh, yeah, Hawks, Ma Mavericks, J Jazz, Suns. The Suns got the number one overall pick. They didn't get it for DeAndre Aiden, but they got it now, so that's okay. Then again, they already have Trey Young and they have De'Aaron Fox, so they need to draft a hella big man. I, I really can't remember who the hell is in this draft. Tyrese Halliburton, number one overall pick. How are you going to pick dude who I dropped 40 on him and I'm playing? Lamella, oh, okay, there it is. There, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, right. This is the year of James Wiseman and Anthony Edwards. Yeah, okay, I got it, got it. Lamello Ball is a Utah Jazz, if that's the right way to say it. I don't know. Obi Toppin joins RJ Barrett in Atlanta and uh, Anthony Edwards goes to the Cavaliers at number seven. I mean, hey, if you're in the lottery, you probably need a good player. And by the, oh, the Pistons. Jokic is getting James Wiseman added to his team. What's his potential? Bill Walton, all NBA. How did he fall to 12? I mean, I don't, he might not reach that though. He might hit that floor, that Herb Williams starter because uh, he might not get minutes. You're behind three-time MVP. James Harden's a free agent and so is Ben. Oh, well, Ben's restricted, so he's not leaving. James, you know, I mean, the Celtics haven't done nothing with Harden. Okay, well, he re... Whoa. They, they re-signed Harden, but they let Ben Simmons walk. And Ben's been great for him. Obviously, Harden is Harden, but Ben has been great for them. And Ben Simmons just bolstered up that, uh, that what's it called? That Washington team. I mean, they kind of needed a point guard. They might they might just start him there. Kemba Walker leaves the Lakers for the Blazers, which is interesting because the Blazers are the Blazers are the team that's won three straight rings or two straight rings. Jalen Brown, he goes and joins LeBron on the Sixers because, I don't know, I guess Minnesota, he was tired of D'Angelo Russell and maybe he took pictures of uh, Paul. Kawhi goes to the Suns. So he actually left the Blazers, but I mean, they just got Kemba Walker, who's been fantastic this whole simulation. Rondo left the Celtics too for the Wizards. So Harden just losing his whole supporting cast and uh, yeah, so on and so. Steph Curry joined the Nets. Kyle Lowry went to the Knicks. I lost and still in the NBA, which is an accomplishment itself. Yeah, this Blazers team is not that good. You know, you kind of needed Kawhi and Steph. I mean, now they got Kemba, but they've definitely lost a few more pieces too. They still got Jimmy Butler, but they definitely lost some more as well. They'll be all right though, maybe. I don't know. They still got their finals MVP. And we are in the second to last season. And uh, yeah, yeah we're, we're getting so close that Kay Cunningham's at the top of the list now. We, yeah, we here. First out is Porzingis, all-star starter. I don't know how good the Magic are doing, but hell, he's doing his job. Ooh, my dog, Derek Rose. Now your teams have been, you won your rings, but your teams have been trash for some years now. But he won a second MVP in 2021. LaMelo Ball bodied the Rookie of the Year award. DeJounte Murray, sixth man of the year. Rudy Gobert, fourth DPOI. Shea wins most improved and Mark Doggy Dog. I feel like this might be the year the Thunder finally get it, but I don't know. I mean, they got it with KD already, who's right here, coincidentally. And he hasn't had no luck ever since leaving. He probably regret that. But uh, Mike Conley, all NBA third team. There you go. Thunder are 13 wins better than the reigning champion Portland team. But Portland's doing good for the fact that, you know, a lot of players are le left. Like OG was barely in the rotation. Now he's starting. But OG was the Kawhi replacement in Toronto anyways. And Philly's number one in the East. The Knicks made the play-in game. Like, like they, they didn't do better than this. What the hell? I mean, hey, everybody got to fall off at some point. The worst team was, uh, yeah, LaMelo's Utah Jazz. I'm tired of these trash teams, though. We at the end, dog. You probably not going to get better. Let's just be honest. First stops, Porzingis led the league in scoring. And oh, yeah, right. Jokic didn't win MVP for the first time in a minute, but he's still Jokic. Porzingis, Harden, Doncic, Jokic, and Tatum led in points. Rebounds was Drummond, Jokic, Valanciunas, Davis, and Bamba. An assist, Rose, Conley, Westbrook, LeBron, and LaMelo. Or actually, that's Alonzo. Zion shoots a whole 10% better from the field than anybody else in the league because all he does is dunk on 
on you at six foot six and 280. And Omri Caspi in three point percentage. If the hell goes nothing, Timberwolves, Pistons, Rockets, pay it, Raptors, whatever. Lakers are out of here. Hornets, Grizzlies, Wizards, Warriors, Bulls, Pelicans, and Nets. Let's stop right there. Uh oh, wow. The only upset was my New York Knicks. The play-in team to the second round. They got revenge on the Nets team that you know what I mean knocked them the hell up and out of here a couple years ago. And uh, aside from that, everything looks pretty normal. Although I did see the Lakers lose, and for a second I thought that was gonna be an upset because Kevin Durant. Oh wow, Durant and Cantor are together. Remember when they had some beef? I mean, who did Cantor really not have beef with at this point? Phoenix is out of here. The Clippers, Pacers, and the Knicks, sadly. But hold on, the Bucks are here. Oh, there we go. Joel Embiid and Damian Lillard giving the Sixers a run for their money. And uh, yeah, LeBron's got Jalen Brown now, but Dwight Howard is gone. I never realized that. They also still got Tyrese Maxey starting at point. This is really, that's actually really weird. Same as in real life, same season or whatever. See, last season, I, I, look, here we are. And the Trailblazers versus the Thunder. Can the MVP Derrick Rose finally get over the hump of this Blazers team? Plus, Kawhi's not even here anymore, but I mean, he would have just been guarding Wilson Chandler anyways. I mean, maybe Westbrook. I have no clue. Let's see. The Milwaukee Bucks and the Portland Trailblazers have been eliminated. The Thunder did it. They finally beat Portland. Derrick Rose is going to be guarded by Tyrese Maxey, but is that enough of an advantage for them to, uh, you know, win? I mean, hey, I wouldn't root against LeBron either, though. I'm cool with either one. The Thunder are going to win game one by however many points, 12 points. Kevin Love posted a triple double with 14, 10, and 12. And D Rose is 31 to Jalen Brown's 26. Another Thunder win by 14 points this time. Kevin Love 24, Wilson Chandler 23. I guess they really could have used that uh that Kawhi. Oh, well, that was the last round, but whatever. LeBron ain't holding Wilson and Chandler. Come on now. Tyrese Maxey, 14 points at a 72 overall or whatever it was. They got Tyrese, they got Tobias, and they just beat MB. But can they beat Derrick Rose? I've been seeing this Derrick Rose and LeBron matchup for mad years. I know in real life too, but in this simulation, you know what I mean? Them Bulls won them all them rings while LeBron was still in the heat. The Sixers come back, and I believe it's two to one now as Jalen Brown and Kevin Love both dropped 29 points in this one. Sixers, another one. LeBron ties it up two to two. He had 26 and 15. Sixers, another one. Over 23 point win. D Rose 28 and 12. Kevin Love 26 and LeBron 34. I don't know why I read off the other team stats of this team one, but whatever. Who is this? That yeah, Thaddeus Young's been going crazy this series. Look at wait, real quick. I've been seeing T Young. I'm like, that's not Trey. It's got to be the big dog. Thad Young dropped 21 in one of the losses, 17, almost a triple double. Come on now, look at the dog go. And wow, I thought Dwight Howard left. I'll be honest with you, or maybe I, I think I yeah, because someone else was starting over him. But no, nah, he's still here and he might be starting now. I don't know. You know how 2K is. Three to two lead for the 76ers. The Thunder come out. You know the last like they were just tied in the last minute. The Thunder went just crazy. They went by six points. Derrick Rose and Kevin Love. LeBron's near triple double with 31 and 10 and seven. Game seven in Oklahoma City. You already know that crowd can get roaring. 55 seconds left, but it looks like OKC is done with him. And look, yeah, OKC is going crazy. OKC, Russell Westbrook's got 34 points. Kevin Love, a couple of dunks. Russell Westbrook and Kevin Love just scored all these points. In the last minute, four straight buckets to win the NBA championship. They did it again. I believe this is Kevin, or no, Kevin Love. No, no, no. They won that ring with Kevin Love when KD was still here. Love has been here for a good minute and obviously so has Westbrook. Love has his two rings now and uh, Derek Rose has his three. Westbrook's got two and uh, congrats to Clint Capella. The team finally made it over the hump and proud of him. Derek Rose, the MVP and the finals MVP. He won DPOI. could have been like a keen big body self. Mark Gasol retired. Darren Williams is going to go box Frank Gordon. Now we're right on track. Daquan Cook is out of here. J.R. Smith is out of here. Going to go golf. You know what I mean? Keep his co college opportunities coming. Mike D'Antoni was a big man coach. Hell no. What? He, that man is, a, I mean, teaching this big man how to shoot, getting six foot four big men named PJ Tucker. Darren Williams just made the Hall of Fame. I mean, yeah, I, without, I don't know, falling off. Did he really, did he have any crazy injuries? I feel like he just kind of fell off. I remember when the Nets released him and then he went to the Mavericks, but aside from that, I mean, yeah, so uh, this lottery, this is the 2021 Cade Cunningham. You know, you know these guys by now, right? I mean, I'm acting like I didn't know who the ones last year were in the Kings, Jazz, Mavericks, Magic, and Heat go top five. This draft don't even really, dog, we got one year left, dog. Come on. Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, and Evan Mobley. Wow, it went the same way. And then Scotty Barnes, but then Josh Giddy messes it up and goes before Jalen Sugg. It went almost the exact same, though, until like past, what, eight, nine, ten? I don't know. The final free agency, I feel like, are we about to see some crazy stuff? Oh, yeah, Rose is in here. Jokic is in here. Holy, oh, yeah, this one's about to be crazy. I already know they're all about to leave. I just have a feeling. Ayo, hey, this is the year they all get screwed. Oh, Ayo hey, Dosumanu, thank you for telling me that you're a free agent. I don't care. Rose goes to the Raptors. Jokic goes to the Suns. Kevin Love stays. Lonnie
Lonzo Ball is a 90 overall on the Hawks. I guess actually, yeah, Jokic deserves a new team because his team, he's been the MVP three times, never in the finals, never even, I don't even think in the conference finals. I know he has Jason Tatum, but this team has been kind of trash, I guess, if they haven't been doing nothing. So now he goes and joins Trey Young, Thon Maker, and Kawhi Leonard. They also had De'Aaron Fox over here, but they must have let him walk to like sign Jokic or something. And uh, Derek Rose to the Raptors. I mean, I remember seeing a few years ago, they were pretty solid. I don't know if they still are. Oh yeah, they're, they're solid. They're solid enough. But I mean, you did just win a ring, so you can't really, you probably won't match that. The Warriors get Zach Levine. The Pelicans are uh, the beneficiary of De'Aaron Fox leaving that other team. Damian Lillard goes to the Pacers. Dennis Smith Jr. is an 86 overall in Miami, although he's been there and they haven't done nothing. Clay Thompson signs with the Knicks. I mean, they just signed Zach Levine, so I guess they had to, you know what I mean? A level up. And Jabari Parker out here, Jabari Parker. And what a semi, this has actually been one of the most enjoyable, kind of semi-realistic uh, simulation I've done in a hell. I mean, this is the I, one of the first ones I've done in a while. Oh my God. Frank Nilakina is the second best. This team has Chris Paul, but then, okay. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Frank and Bull Bull is the duo of the Nuggets. Yo, switch my control to the Nuggets. I don't, actually, I don't really want to see him. I already know they're going to miss the playoffs, but still, what the hell? It just doesn't get better than that. Trey Young, one time all star. Oh, hey, there goes Jokic again. He's on Phoenix. He's doing his thing. He's wearing number 50 like he's Zebo. Scotty Barnes, rookie of the year. Dennis Schroeder, six man of the year. Rudy Gobert, another DPOI. James Wiseman, most improved player. Oh, yeah, right, because Jokic left. Irvin Bowman. Now, I have no clue. It might be the Suns. It might be the Suns. Westbrook, Irving, Antetokounmpo, Bagley, Marvin Bagley. Whoa, what? This team, if this team is good, then he really, wow, 29 and 14. Marvin Bagley, all NBA first team. We are seeing the future, except it's not what we expected. Second team, Derek Rose, Lonzo Ball, Luka, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, and third team, Trey Young, Markel Fultz, Blake Griffin, Kevin Love, and Kristaps. Porzingis. That is the final all NBA teams and they are about as weird, but futuristic. And I don't really, they're, they're just, there's something. And LeBron, did LeBron even make one? Jared Bayless all deep. Why, how the hell is Jared Bayless still around? LeBron only averaged 20 points, eight assists and six rebounds this season. He's falling off a little bit. Well, I mean, yeah, he's 38. He's, he's 38. So we are even further. And I was right about Phoenix, by the way, 74 and eight for the Phoenix Suns led by Nikola Jokic. They're the only team in the league to win not only 70 but 60 game no more than 54 second is my new york knicks with clay thompson mellow and Kyrie. this is a fire big three you gotta add vucevic in there too i guess but it looks like yoke I, it would be fire to end it off with yoke is getting his ring but we gotta see can he can he hold up you know what i mean can he can he can he actually do it Kyrie led the league in scoring followed by trey marvin bagley ja morant and yoke which i gotta check if the rockets made the playoffs because marvin is wild ad drummond bagley collins and griffin and rebounds assist westbrook ball conley fultz and rose Google percentages. Uh, yeah. Why am I mentioning Zion still? And uh, Davidas again, Davidas, how you doing? I I'm going to say though that uh, the Rockets probably didn't make it because that's probably why Bagley was so, yeah. I mean, actually they were, they were close to the play in game, but yeah, yeah. How did RJ Barrett already get off the Hawks? I have no clue. I don't think I've checked trades once this entire video, but it's be, I don't think many have really happened. DeMar DeRozan got traded for Christian Wood and Brooke Lopez for Tyus Jones. I mean, but aside from that, so if they traded DeMar for Christian Wood, that means that DeMar was followed by KD or DeMar followed KD from the Mavericks to the Lakers. But uh, yeah, the final playoffs simulate the play in the Warriors, the Pistons, the Jazz, and the Bucks are out of here. The Pistons did pretty solid for losing Jokic, I guess. I mean, they still have Tatum and, and uh, what's his name, Wiseman. The first round, the Mavericks, the Pacers, the Bulls, the Kings, the Hornets, the Spurs, the Grizzlies, the 76ers are out of here. Any upsets? Uh, It's looking like the, the Spurs lost the, the Pelicans and the Pelicans were led, led by a Luka Doncic 46-point triple-double. AD left that man but um hey he's still you know ad ain't ad's been the most disappointed so i don't know where the hell anthony davis is isn't he on the warriors don't they have zach levine and anthony davis and they must have had clay last season okay now they're trash but like every other season they come on now. i mean i guess it's not all the ad's fault he was on the pelicans for a minute but now lucas carrying the pelicans so it's like come on now. memphis lost to the blazers now that's not really an upset because we know the blazers history but they were the fifth seed and they yeah but they, they beat memphis second round i'm rooting for the suns personally i want to see Jokic get it portland's out of here the pelicans are out of here and the Raptors are out of here. So we've got the Knicks versus the Nets in the Eastern Conference. Kyrie versus Murray. Clay versus D. Book. Wiggins versus Melo. Uh, Gordon versus Aldridge and Vucevic versus Gobert. That's one hell of a, one hell of an even matchup to be honest. I mean, about as even as you could get. And then Suns versus Thunder. Trey Young versus Westbrook. DeMar versus Halliburton. Wilson Chandler versus Kawhi. K. Love versus P.J. Washington and Clint Capella versus Jokic. Another very even matchup. We were just to switch the power forward and center. So the conference finals. Knicks up three. Oh, oh my. I said I was going to root for the Suns, but they're going to put them up against 
against my Knicks, though. Hey, look, I win. I won. I, I, this is a classic simulation already because I won. I how How is it that the pinnacle of everything? Sorry, I just hit my microphone. I don't know if it re registered in the sound. I won, bro. I, I wanted the Suns to win. And I'm a, I win. I win. The Knicks win the first game by 14 points. Jokic is Jokic, but Kyrie Irving 29 and 11. I think this would be Clay Thompson. I don't think the Warriors ever won a ring, right? So Clay Thompson, this would be his first ring because he was in he was in Golden State for the whole time. He took over Steph's role, basically. And oh, oh my God. Oh my, I don't know what the hell. I hate when I do that and I click off mad fast and I don't check the game log, but they just came back from down. They, they had an 18 point fourth quarter advantage, the Suns that is, but they still lost by two points to the New York faithful. And Trey Young had 39 and 10, the one time all-star himself, the first time all-star. The Suns though, looks like they're going to take a commanding third game win to make it two to one. Jokic 47 points. You can't do nothing about that. Although Vucevic tried to match him with 27. This one, I'm going to be careful just in case it does get close, but it looks like the Knicks are going to win this one. Take a three to one lead. Are my Knicks going to be able to get another ring to end it off despite Jokic being Jokic? Is Jokic an L? Is Jokic a fraud? What? Regular season awards? No, nah, but speaking of that, I mean, no disrespect. Like, well, like, where's Giannis at? You know what I mean? They were saying he was a fraud for a while and then he won a ring. So but my New York Knicks, it's the last one, are going to win. Now, give me control of the Knicks. I want to get a mellow bucket. Carmelo Anthony's about to become a two-time champion. Give me this. Kawhi, get over here. Hold on. Hold this, Kawhi. Hold this. Send me a screen real quick. Hold this. Post up. Ah, ah. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that fadeaway? That is not That is not the mellow I know. It don't matter. The Knicks are NBA champions. We are in Phoenix, which isn't really... I would have liked to be in MSG, even though it's not even MSG. That's that's fake. They're going to call it the Knicks Arena. I don't know who the hell that coach is, but Thibodeau must have retired a long time ago. I would assume Kyrie's the finals MVP this time around. I guess we'll see. Your Bill Russell finals MVP is Mr. Kyrie Irving. 33-5-6 for Trey. 30-16 for Nikola Vucevic. Kyrie is Kyrie Mello with a near triple double. Lamarck is Clay Thompson. Bradley, TJ Leaf. I completely forgot about that dude. Costa Kouf is Justice Winslow and Ty Lawson. And uh, Jokic scored five points in this game. And I, I forgot they even had Kawhi too, but Jokic scored five points. We got a Mello versus Kawhi matchup, a Trey Young versus Kyrie, and a Jokic versus Vucevic, and all that all in one series. But Jokic is going to leave this video ringless, sadly. And Kyrie Irving, Carmelo Anthony, and company are all one or two time champions. Let's bring it over real quick. NBA history, your most valuable players. You could see him right here the past 10 years. We got three Harden MVPs who also didn't win a ring, three Jokic MVPs, two LeBron MVPs, a Rose MVP, and another Jokic. So the only two MVPs out of those to win rings are LeBron and D Rose. The rookie of the years you can look at, the six man of the years. DPO wise, we got four from Kawhi and five from Gobert, as well as one from LeBron. Most improved player, a weird bunch. I did not realize Quincy Pondexter won one. And the coach of the years, Mad Thunder coach of the years. Thankfully, he did eventually get a, a ring. But uh, the, the Suns losing the finals despite only losing eight games in the entire regular season. Steve Kerr got himself a coach of the year despite the Warriors never winning nothing. And even Steph Curry won a ring, but it was with the Trailblazers. And that is all for the individual awards. But here the hell are your past champions. We got two Bulls rings to start it off. A Thunder ring. KD got his one despite leaving and being an idiot. And he beat Derrick Rose then. Chris Paul got a championship with the Lob City Clippers. You can never complain about that. DeMarcus Cousins on that team too. So, I mean, that's cool. The 76ers, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony in the New York Knicks. Dwight Howard got a ring on the Sixers one as well. The Blazers go back to back with Curry, Blake Griffin, Kawhi, and all of them. And the Thunder get another one with Derrick Rose and replacing Kevin Durant. And last but not least, Kyrie Irving, Carmelo Anthony come back for one more just to hit the road. That is officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. I appreciate all the love and support. And um, let me know what the hell you want to see next. Hit me up on, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm still pretty good with Twitter mentions, Instagram DMs I'm decent with. Discord has a little video suggestions tab that I still look at. The comments, uh, you know what I mean? You could comment if you want to see a video. So yeah, with all that summarizing, let me know what the hell you want to see next. Shout out to Carmelo Anthony. And I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Cut.